Welcome on to another speed leveling video, right? It's Mortal Trap. And a meme to us. And finally, we did this stupid joke as well. Let's go to the Crucible. Get our um, speed leveling gear there, right? Dash still full. Why? Oh, because of all the elixir still? Holy shit, dude. I'm not cheating, Copium. No, I'm actually not cheating, though. Like, these are actually things that I have found, and they're like in my. Well, Crimson Item Assistant, this thing here. These are all found legit. Believe it or not, I actually don't care. But they are found legit. So yeah, um, let's grab the other stuff, right? Like Loker's boots, mantle, another pair of boots, coat, gaze. So these for later, right? This for later, this for later, this for later, this for later, and this for later. And we need like another helmet. And shoulders, right? So gaze of Polish Emerald and the mantle. There we go. Yep, yep. Then we need some, well, XD pots. Haha. <laughs> Get all of these, right? And then we play. What do we play? Kaiman again or Vigil? Just play Kaiman, right? Saber's Merit. Uh, metal, yep. Gloves, yep. Belt, yep. Pants? Where are the pants? Where are my pants? No pants. No pants stream, Monka. Ah, oh, there it is, okay. So gloves, pants, belt, right, metal. Relic. I don't have a good relic, actually. Let's use some shitty one here. There we go. Aether rest on the relic, yep. Why not? Um, that's it, more or less. So we're gonna play Mortar Trap, right? Mortar Trap. Oh yeah, Levanas' rings, of course. Right. Levanas' rings. One, two for level ten, and then one, two for level twenty. There we go. This should be all. This should be all, right? This should be all. Alright, let me adjust my stream title real quick as well. Um. <clears throat> Do I have the pots? Yes. Rings, pots, yes. Okay. So first of all, what you want to do, right, is you want to, of course, pop your merit and then go pot around and... Get all those lore nodes, right? Like from Conclave and the other spots as well. Don't forget Sea Cap District and Homestead. Yep. Then we want to do Vanguard. 
So Vanguard has at least one note. Yes, it's only one. Okay. Vanguard must hold. There we go. Then we go to Commons Refuge. Homestead Home. <laughs> yeah, don't be a Homestead Home and port to Homestead. And also, don't be like me and port to um, Steel Cap District. Um, that might be unhealthy for your character. Wait, did I miss one? Down here? I did, right? What am I doing? Why am I walking like this? Or am I preparing a... Wait, is there one or two here? Holy shit, how do I not remember? There's the second one, of course. 4.5 cows, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Show YouTube why it's not TP there? Yeah. Just trust me. Source, trust me, bro, right? Don't TP there. Just trust me. Don't forget the recipe, right? To cook some good uh, soup. If you don't get the recipe, you can't make soup. Fresh meat for the stew. Get some gloves, pog. <laughs> uh, where am I going? What the fuck? Oh yeah, up here, right? Up the stairs. Anything else that I missed? Apart from Homestead and Sea Cup? Necropolis, right? Didn't do Necropolis. I mean, Necropolis is a little bit scary. Like, you, you can go there. But you can also die there, if the mobs didn't spawn properly. Like, if there are mobs like here, then you just shouldn't go here, honestly. And then there's also Warden's Lab, yeah, you're right. Warden's Laboratory, yep. Okay, we're done here, I think. I will go to ultimate. And we don't press anything. Did I grab Homestead? Oh no, let me go back real quick and get Homestead. Missed the one Devil's Crossing? What do you mean? I mean, you take an ultimate, why would you waste your time taking it in normal? When you go here on ultimate anyway. That's not worth it. <laughs> Getting a pot and then lose a pot again. Wow. <clears throat> okay, mortar trap means I want to get Francis' gun right. Monka, why are there so many in there? I want to get the gun, please. Give me your gun. So just hide these two right and show always double rares right there we go. Yo, full of pit, welcome on, welcome on. Uh, level one, level one, level one, yep, yep, yep. Don't add that to the boss over here, right? Um, yeah, that does is blocked, you need to go to the other side. Might as well go through here, maybe get the journals. Um, if you manage to don't die here at least. Forgot quest? What quest?
Jetzt hast du das geil, nicht? Imagine not one shotting the door. <lacht> yep, yep. Alright, now we're going to the cave, right? Spawn the area, including the boss, before we get the next beer. Now you can, once you're in here, right, just you know, uh, pour it out if you want to, but you can also just use the pot right now and then get to level 10, right? And then equip the rings. And then you read the rest. When you're a higher level, then you get your vanish here, right? And now we're gonna play what? Water trap? Can't even vanish with us. Oh well. Uh, let's uh, get pet attack as well here, right? Pew 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 pew. Nice, nice. Now let's also get the shrine here. Then we go back to the other's crossing. Did I forget the cup notes again? That a creature I need some time. Dang it. I forgot them again. Now I actually forgot about getting Scrap there, right? I actually forgot about the scrap. Right, let's get some scrap. Right, some more scrap. Let's get some Aether Crystals. I, mean, I don't have any anyway. Then let us remove the old rings already, right? Let's upgrade the Locker set as well. Do something like this. There we go. Uh, we will need Physique for the claws, right? And pants, there we go. And relic, okay. Greetings, chat. Yeah, now we just gain the like remaining XP here. And also drop this, pick it up again. What do you want? Talk to this guy, explain yourself, right? We have a deal, there we go. We don't talk to her actually, that doesn't make any sense. Talk to him, yep. And then we Talk to Aether Crystal guy right over here. Welcome to my and we. <laughs> Yo, Ulvan. Fetish corner for Ulvan. Welcome to Dubai, I guess. We're level 33, right? There well, we are. Since this okay, so we're done here for an ultimate for now. Equip the belt, and now we go to normal to get the devotions, right? The devotion hopping. Yep, yep. Scrap your local set for the scrap. Okay, where's my character? Hello. And the meme to the strand. Where is it? There it is. Alright. So, normal difficulty, right? Now, we wanna get a, a melee weapon, right? A rage. Yo, welcome back. <laughs> you mad, bro? And we properly max out what we wanna play here, right? So what do we wanna play? We wanna play this, that, this and that, right? Probably max this out as well. Um this, right? 13 points at least here, and then also blast shield, right? Okay. And also put the salt bag into your inventory. Don't sell it. Hold 
Alright, hop, hop. People hop. Control my mod. Lovely message. Oh, yeah, it, was, it was lovely, I'm sure. One shot, yep. One shot, one kill. What the fuck? Next one, Whitemire. Actually, no, it's not Whitemire, it's uh, Foggy Bank, right? How do I always put the wrong one here? Elementalist is Demon Shaman, right? Yeah. What skills am I gonna plan to use in the second mastery? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, health gen. Wind Devils, of course, because Wind Devils have fire RR. Uh, also, I probably want to play Lightning, and not. If you're playing in a metal right, you want to play Lightning Mode Trap, not Fire Mode Trap. Mastery Bar for tanking us. <laughs> Yep, yep. Thermite mines level. I should also use cocktail, right? I guess. For the RR. And cocktail, thermite mine, mortal trap. And then shaman is cosmetic. Dalvur, who? Oh, this guy is actually a demo amulet, right? So maybe we should actually kill this guy for his amulet. So 16 though, do I even get a drop here? Oh, I actually got a drop, nice. Pog. Ah, it's better than nothing. Better than no amulet. Sedgebury, Lightning Mortars for the win. I mean, then you want to play a gun, right? You want to play like Savagery as well to like get the stacks. Of Celerity for Force Wave? I mean, yeah, it would be nice. It's also good to like spawn down, like put down your mortars quicker, right? Technically. Should I go soldier secondary then? Should I should I call the character Elementalist and like play a purifier instead? <laughs> like call the character Elementalist and play purifier instead? It'll be like ultimate meme on Elementalist, right? Ultimate BM for Elementalist. You got incorruptible of celerity. Wow, that's pretty good actually. Yep. Oh yeah, right. You were like one of those force wave enemies in season two as well. I almost forgot. Elemental Souls to trash into Titan Quest. <laughs> I mean, they they followed the right thing then. Um, 
points. Uh, what do we take for those? Take like Raven and Raven and then Eel or Sailor's Guide. What item do you need to convert those to lightning again? Using dual wield, how are damage calculated with blade arc? Um, it's only one hand always. It's always only one hand. It's always only the main hand. So like dual wield is trash for blade arc. It's literally only gonna use one arc. I mean one blade for its arc. Helmet of Gabagul, what? Who? Helmet of who? Literally, who? Yeah, exactly. I have to check this out actually, real quick. Like, who? Item database. Skill modifiers. Right, and then you go on mod trap. And then you search for lightning. Or like, convert it to lightning. Oh, this thing, end game, level 84. 84? Yikes. We can't play it before level 84? What? I mean, it has like base lightning damage, I guess. So you just play with those, right? Turnox. And that's it, or what? Wow. Mortal Trap has so much support, dude. Insane. Literally only more like only Turnox and that's it. <laughs> wow, horror, welcome, welcome. I'm not sure if I should read that meme text that you're posting, but welcome in anyway. Also, you should always go for like eel first, right? Before going for the green. So, like, what am I doing? I don't know. Because of the movement speed. Cute chat. Should I should I bring my Weep Hunter on again? Like out again? Like I. Uh, also, well, why am I not playing this? Today? Imagine ah, using Dust. Speak at last. Sentient Bonk, welcome, welcome on. Is that a photo? Like that saves the builds, what? Oh, you mean. What? It's really what, dude. It's like saying... I don't know. Not using possession on Noctis is fine, right? 
Hello, I'm coming from Diablo 2 and PvE, lots of hours. I wanted to know if Grimdon is any good. I think it's it looks fun, but I don't know. Lol, how's the trading system endgame maps? Question mark. Also, this game worth two dollars on sale. I don't have much on, to spend on video games. My girlfriend doesn't like it, so tell me please. Hey, thanks. I don't know, lol. I got like two hours in this game. It's pretty, pretty not that good. Like, I wouldn't recommend it. Like, just don't play this, man. I like, literally started playing like yesterday, and I think it's actually pretty bad, right? Pretty, pretty bad game. Grimyon? Yeah, like imagine playing Grimyon, right? Like, what? It's like you have to yawn while playing it already. Like, literally, holy shit. Actually yawning. Just do bait runs. Dude, like, I'm so hyped about, like, doing my 9,769th bay run tonight. And then later after that, like, Mephisto run number 42069 as well. Like, that's gonna be so good, dude. Oh, so good. It's copy busters making this in the <laughs> quit stream. Oh my god. Yeah, like, once. Like, Nydra and Ulven are basically like the Quinn viewers of Gruen Dawn, right? They're like the Quinn viewers. And I guess Adios Ocelot was like that as well. He, he actually matured there. <laughs> Girlfriends will soon destroy game companies. Yeah, do you like. Maybe, maybe we should like ban Girlfriends. Like, otherwise, like, game companies will like actually go extinct, right? Imagine. Like, there, there are no girls, like, playing games, right? Like, that's a myth, right? Like, what girls on the internet? What? Ah, yeah, yeah. Just get a body pillow instead, right? Like, body pillows don't tell you to stop gaming. They're like your true friend. Your true friend for life. Girlfriends are temporary, video games are eternal. I guess it holds, that's, I mean, it depends on like how you treat your girlfriend and also like how she treats you, I guess. And also depends on like how much she is fine with you playing games. Daki Makura, you filthy gaijin. Daki Makura, eh? Nani? Nani koreba? Thanks for the relationship advice. Hey man, anytime. Also, should I buy this game? Or should I wait for the epic sale on Le Epic Games? I heard it's like coming out soon, right? Like, should I buy it like on release or should I wait for the sale? And this game is actually gonna come out soon, right? Like new release right basically. Ninety nine percent of men hate luxury clothing brands. Oh, oops, sorry for that. Holy shit. Rest in peace your ears. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Uh that was uh my love for clothing brands, I guess. Wasn't that at all, so it's okay. Louder. Please hit me louder. Yeah. What's my movement speed? It's actually maxed already. Okay, cool. Without boots? No. What? Why am I potting? It's normal, right? Imagine using a pot on normal. I should like get Behemoth on it. Actually. Probably like this, I think. Should we go like full full meme half gem on this? 
It's already got nerfed on it. But like, it will be nerfed on next patch rather. I mean, I'm playing on next patch, so it already got nerfed, right? Do I make it actually loud this time? Okay. Imagine using headphones? Yeah, who would do that, right? Who would do that? But... What's health regen? New DLC? It's more like old DLC. Should I use grasp grasping vines on this to like hold enemies in place? That's five head, right? Maybe three head, I don't know. I should probably actually use like grasping vines on those to like make them stand still so like the mortal heads them. LPS new game mechanic, yeah. <laughs> Yo, Mikulas, how you man? Woohoo! Welcome in, welcome in. Brother from another mother. How are you, man? Are you playing PUE right now? You are, right? I seem so. Three times three head. Pillars of Eternity, that fire is so good, it's insane. Insane. Wow. Interesting. Are you actually playing Pillars of Eternity? Pretty, pretty funny actually. Yo, Zathan on Workman, Workman. Why are we leveling with Mortal Trap if we want to play Lightning later on? Why, why aren't we playing Promise Strike yet again? Well, that would be so much fun, right? And so much variety on my stream, right? Like another Promise Strike leveling? It sounds good, right? Actually, let me do Forgotten Gods before Blood Grove. That should be easier, I think. So glad you started with leveling with main skill. Yeah, yeah. They yeah, brute force it. You always do it. Do you also level with retaliation when retaliation is your main skill? Yikes. Unless it's true in essence. <laughs> Have you tried Flames of Ignafar? 
Voll leveling. That's really fun as well. Totally not a bait. You always get full Praetorians when you level. What? Why don't you have full lockers? I mean, I did actually have like two or three Silosephon playthroughs as well where I had. Uh yeah, full Praetorian is a lot of things. It was on my Breaker and my Dark one. I think both of them had like at least two, if not like full Praetorian as well. It's pretty funny, yeah. Like it drops a lot and it's so strong as well. Not even that rare to get. It's like a 50 50 whether you get the full set or whatever in basic or not. More or less. You never play the game until Lokar? What? Wait, have you never killed Lokar? <laughs> Alessandro, suicide, copy. <laughs> And you also got her, that's true. That is true. Someone started memeing hard, what? No, we started memeing the second you died. <laughs> At least I did. <laughs> what the hell is this? Let me through, please. Or like, what do you mean, like, memeing? Like, we started telling the truth, like, the second you died. <laughs> Suicide, he says, Omega oh, lol. He could count us with proof? No, he couldn't! What? There wasn't even proof to begin with. Like, if anything, he, like, removed the proof so that we don't have proof that he didn't suicide. Yo, Plasma. Welcome and welcome, man. Oh, you man. I assume you have been testing the League mod like non stop on the weekend, right? Like non stop. <laughs> Mocha. <laughs> was probably playing, playing PoE. Nah, Plasma's not playing. I mean, maybe he was actually. You have the league mod, you can confirm it's shut. What? You don't even have it, dude. What are you talking about? Also, why am I porting down here every single time, dude? Oh my god, it's so scuffed. 
Oh, the shot. Uh, music, are you okay? Alright, you can't put us to... Uh, you can't even put this to mortars, why am I even using it? What the hell? Uh, is there one in here? An oasis? Yes, there's one in here. And a meme trust action? Yeah, some... Some mortar trap memes. Wait, you can't put it on the wind devil either. We need to use cocktail for it, right? Wow. Or do I need LA Storm anyway? Instead? That's the question, right? That would be the question. I mean, you could also just play fire, right? Like, why do we have to play lightning elementalist? Because of exclusive? No, right? Like, we could just play primary bond. Get absorption instead. I wonder how bad or good that is. It's probably worse than... Do I have a link for endgame? No, I don't. Not really. I mean, right now it's just... Mortal Trap, right? That's, that's all it is. I mean, I have some theory craft somewhere. Um... But that's like outdated anyway, probably. And I. Yeah, I will probably make this one like before continually leveling it uh, through Automate. So right now I actually don't have one. For anything. I'm actually kind of intrigued to play fire instead. Just to like also play Prime Bond. Just go like health gen memes, right? Because Pyron is so good for health gen. Pyron is a fire settlement. You can't play lightning with Pyron really. Pyron is only fire. Right? Then it's like, yeah, why didn't you pick Breaker or Elemental Stun, right? I mean, or Pure Father, right? Hmm. I think your opponent's gonna play Grim Dawn after he rips in his current character in Titan Quest. What? Is he gonna like prepare for Grimdawn League, like play a little bit to just like warm up and then he's gonna actually play in the league? That would be so nice, dude. What the fuck am I saying? When you meant Praetorians, you meant Perdition? Wow. Leveling is retailers for Pega. I mean, it is. I guess it's okay with perdition.
One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. That's all of them. Right? Um, Blood Grove. Kaprank played last leg for like a day. I mean, yeah. That's how it is, I guess. Okay, guys, do we play lightning or fire later? What do you want to say? I have no idea. Should we play lightning or fire motor trap even? Elemental, Elementalus with Sage and Seru. Mm, no. But it would be cool if that was viable, actually. That would be really cool. Like, imagine Elemental Wind Devils, like Purple Wind Devils or something like that, right? And they're like, I don't know. Purple Nades, Purple Wind Devils. Maybe Purple Mortal Trunks. Fire? I kinda wanna play fire too, not gonna lie. Because for lightning I could just respect my lightning one right? like my lightning elementals. I kinda wanna see how bad fire it is on elementals. It's probably gonna be pretty bad, but like I mean not that bad, but like probably worse than lightning, right? But then we have to play different devotions, right? We have to like play. Uh, we have to play this one then, actually, right? Your bloomer remote? No, it's gone. It's gone. Gone already. A month passed so quick, dude. Okay, uh, where do we go? A second valley? Embrace the scuff, go cold. I mean, if there was an item for it, I would do that, but there's literally zero items for cold, right? So, I don't know. <laughs> that seems like borderline trolling, like just trolling, dude. I don't know. Debating Rector's Raid. I mean, if he's, if he's playing and nobody else is online that I want to host over him, then I would host him anyway, right? Like, he doesn't have to play it to come down for that. I should. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I just do whatever I do wanna do, right? Maybe. Maybe not. Oh my god, stop blocking. What the hell? I do what chat decides, yeah, 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 that's how it works when the streaming, like, chat decides everything. Chat decides what my name is, chat decides what my character's name is, chat decides what the name of my neighbor is. Yeah.
My name is name is Gottfried, clearly. Yeah. He is now. His name is now. Oh, worm claw, nice. Uh, what the fuck? Give me a one hander. There we go. What the hell, dude? Hole. Unequip low car, smart. I don't even bother like killing this guy, it doesn't even make any sense. Oh well. Um, so we got that right, let's just go to Gloomwald. His name must be Hans. Because all Germans are named Hans, right? Okay, let's get the Hemoth as well. I wonder if, if you look at those, right? Six green, four red. Six green, four blue. Mm hmm. But also, Behemoth has three red. I feel like Lightning might be better for health regen devotions, right? Maybe? I don't know. A little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. Gunter, maybe. Yeah, the Gunter. Who? Face guard of perdition. I mean, there it is, right? There it is. Light enough spirit. Yep, easy whole set while leveling, easy retail leveling, yeah. yeah, yeah. Especially while speed leveling right? just, just like get like the entire set like three times. When you go spirit, yep. Apothecary sign. Not the worst sign I could have. Yeah, exactly, because you're talking about that, right? Exactly, exactly. Imagine throwing away a Winnego Spirit. What? Literally what? Okay, let's go here as well, actually. Because I need to get Turnips off hand. So we gotta go into the set of here. And, yeah. Just level up to here, right? Uh, Demos, Arcane's Tome of Scorching, that seems perfect, right? If it's the right one. It is the right one. Yeah, that's perfect. More spirit, please. I lack three spirit. Wow. Minus three kick W. Uh, <laughs> what? I mean, we got it though, we got it. How many devotions do I have? 30. Let's go to it.
I need to like move a lot of devotion points in a way. fire damage, what the fuck am I doing? Maybe good metal. There we go, there's the fire damage. And we go to like another smith real quick. There we go, right? Two of these for uh, double burning weapons. Three, four, yep, yep. Place of Valor, yep. Plus one Oscars to Shaman. Oh, yeah, do I have a plus one Oscars to Demo build? There it is. 25 Poison Ross. Poison Ross is optional, yep. Um, poison Ross on Boots, yep. More Poison Ross. Where? How? Uh, still resistance on uh, like a ring maybe. Hmm. There is some on the level. Oh, there's some here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just use this. Set of that, and we are basically done with. Right? I guess we're gonna play Dreek's Vector then, that's fine. <clears throat> that's fine for now. Okay, time to move on to... Laurel Crossing. This build is gonna turn out good. Uh, I mean, ideally, yes. Of course. I should remove my like what's it called? Lighting devotions in it. Another like place of weather, wow. It's kinda lucky. Really good leveling pants as well. Oh what the fuck. Pit bosses are mandatory. Still all that.
Okay, we do all the side quests here as one, act one and two and so on. No, Nelit, because you want to get all the reputation, right? So you want to do all the side quests. Like, kill these guys, kill these zombies. Right? Tainted Grey Matter from this guy, really. Did you know that he has a. literally a 1% chance to drop a Tainted Grey Matter? Literally 1%. Wow. We just got it. Just like not. Just get it, right? Just drop it. There's the data miner, just play the game. <laughs> just play the game. Wait, where's Milton, dude? What the hell? Hello? Where is he hiding? Oh, there he is. Okay. Go in here and get the shrine as well. Fire effects are too much. And you can always turn down the settings right a bit. Yeah, I got I got a little bit blinded earlier today, like playing the Ignafar build as well. It's pretty broad as well. Just see it as a kick W. I mean, yeah, they also add on top, that's true. Um, one, 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 I guess. The cocktail. Flame brand, well that's an item. But it requires 298 cunning. Huh. I mean we can just put some more points here then I guess. And you're too lazy to move them back, but it's just like it's literally only renaming two folders. <laughs> You need 50% more fizzlers in your Winter King build, can you do that? Wow. Oh yeah, are you 100 already? I mean, you've probably played it already with Endgame. How do you like it, Winter King? Is it also, is it also Trickster Squishy, or is it like actually tankier than that? It's probably like Trickster Squishy, right? I can imagine playing as Trickster that's not Squishy, that's not Bleeding Blade Spirits. I mean, even beating Blade Spirit is kind of squishy compared to some other classes. But... Oh. Let's see if we get get an upgrade from the um, Shambler over here. Right, we have Imperious of Celerity right now, which has like Pierce Rust and Latin Rust, I believe. Which we probably don't need right now. Actually. No upgrade. Very similar damage, but way too squishy, yeah. I mean, Crown oh. Strike is also very too, way too squishy, honestly. Yeah, the cluster twice in campaign. I um, I played as R65 on the Trickster and also had to like plus twice and as R65 dude like what's this? 
so squishy. I didn't have to cluster against bosses, just like when you like were fighting more than five enemies at once, you had to like cluster because you have like no armor, no absorb, no physics. So, so weird, dude. Trickster is such a mean class, I don't know. He's 18% physics, oh, mine is like 35 or something. But the armor is still like only 2k and. I don't know. No absorb, no damage reduction, like what? So squishy, dude. I mean, technically, I have 10% on my boots, right, on the trickster. But like 10% damage reduction is like. I don't know, like, usual values are something between at least 15 to 25 or even to 30, right? This has fucking 10, like, what are those? 10%. What? So weird, dude. Okay, let's get the flame burn, right? Actually, no, not yet, because we have to change the opponent then. And uh, for that, well, I have to get the inventor, right? Physique, probably. Alcon's rings are 12 at least. I mean, Alcon's rings also suck. In my opinion, because of that. If they were like 15, they were like. Or 14 at least, they would be actually usable. But because they're only 12, it's like so often they're like, yeah, you wanna play them, but you actually don't wanna play them. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Like for a ring that rare, 12% is like too low, in my opinion. Chase out in my god, it's just. I, mean, I guess technically they're like still easy to farm because the boss is easy, right? Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. For damage reduction, I mean, the thing is, right, it has to compete with Yugo, right? And Yugo is 16, so the rings need to be like at least 15 or something. Like 15 would be fine, right? Or just 16 as well, just like Yugo, so that you can pick them instead of Yugo, right? But they're 12, and then you're like, yeah, I kind of would like to get Yugo still anyway, right? It's so weird. Like ever since Yugo, they became like way worse. Like before Yugo, like before Forgotten Gods, they were kind of okay still. But nowadays, it's like, yeah, if you want damage, you just take. Two blue Alchemist rings instead, right? Like, why would you ever play purple rings? Because defensively, they're also like not good enough anymore. Like, purple rings used to be like more balanced because they were like offense and defense, but now they're like they're bad for offense and bad for defense. And if you want something more balanced, you just pick a Eternal Haunt ring for RR, which is like lots of damage, and then you pick, pick like a Living Ring with like I don't know. Crazy Ampexos, which you can just farm in Ancient Grove anyway, right? Or like, find a farm from Ancient Grove. So much better for balance setup. I'm not playing like one living ring and like one. Uh, what's it called? Like the other thing, like uh, turn the haunt, right? Yeah, and then you also have like the code, to, I mean, acid to cold conversion. Then Yuga becomes even better. True, true. Grimdawn Reddit is amazing for a laugh. I was um, a little bit confused when one guy... It wasn't like a thread, it was like a second old. And then there was one comment and then it already like was marked as solved. And the question was... If I have lightning to fire conversion and both lightning and fire RR, will it apply both? That was the question, which is already like a little bit confusing in my opinion. Like, what's applying both exactly? And then the answer was that for which, like, because of which the poster, like the, the, the thread opener, OP, um, closed, or like, marked it solved, was yes, if you deal fire damage. Or something like that, like only if you deal fire damage. 
And I was like, what? Like, is he implying that you double dip on RR if you deal with fire dodge, which is just not true? Like, what? And the guy was like, okay, thanks, solved. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, Buffy, yes, welcome, welcome. And then I I was like, should I bother posting? And then I did actually comment. I was about to like just write question mark, question mark, question mark to the guy that like answered, but then I actually wrote another proper answer to the guy with the initial post and let's just ignore the guy and was like there first. Cause I I didn't actually understand the question properly and I didn't actually understand the comment either properly because they were so like weird in my opinion like what is this will will my resistance reduction apply if I convert if I have 15 fire and 15 lightning will my resistance reduction apply if I have both if I convert and then yes only if you deal fire damage <laughs> I was so confused, dude. Yo, break for modding? Yeah. Yeah, stream doesn't like me modding items as much as me playing the game, so we're playing the game and stuff. Or like, actually, people also love watching Grim Tools, right? Which is also part of the game, I guess. But uh, I don't have time for Grim Tools anymore, I should actually like, disable. If anybody like retrieves Grim Tools right now, I'm gonna. Well, not ban you, but. Um, just do it next time. Because I don't have like. I need to like actually. Use every second mastery until I like, level this guy to level 70 right now. Modding Omega Law. And also. I think I've already like spoiled enough items anyway. Right? There are some other cool ones coming. There are some cool ones, for sure. Got wrecked by me yesterday in the pit. From this chapter, fuck you. Well, what can I say? Get wrecked. Okay, do we kill the Cronley or Imagine dying to me. I mean it's that compared to most other bosses in the main campaign, I would say my boss is actually kind of scary. The Aldrich boss, like there are two other bosses that can spawn there instead of me, right? Instead of myself. Um, one of them is easier, the other one is even harder though. I would say. And I'm not talking about Boris, like Boris is, uh, I mean, compared to the other three, right? What? Oh, this one is plus two to Cocktail, but this is 10 RR, right? Imagine getting debated by tooltips. Good, you're back. Can I send you over? Yo, bitch baby, born every car to be Y5 top. Yo, Sergei. The baby's there. Yo, thank you so much for having my kid. And welcome back. Thank you so much for the support. How are you doing, man? It's gonna be a motor trap build? Yes, it will actually be a motor trap build. This time for real, Copium. Yeah, the problem with the internal trauma is like... Um, a 
especially new players, they look at this page, right? They see like all of this fire code, lightning, poison, and so on, right? And they also see armor, right? This over here. But what they don't see is third tab physical resistance, right? This one. And against internal trauma, only this helps you against internal trauma, right? Nothing else helps you against internal trauma. So that part is a little bit sketchy, yeah, I agree. But, I mean, of course you can also use absorption, right? Like, damage reduction, flat absorption, that kind of stuff still works against internal trauma. It's just, none of the stuff that's on the first page helps you, right? None of the stuff helps you. Boku no Pico build. <laughs> Spawn as many traps as possible. Wow. for this content right now. Uh, 77 poison, 78 theory, yeah, that's fine. 41 chaos. 60, 63 peers. Should be fine, right? Should be fine. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Um, could just max out the agonizing flames, right? Or like this as well. Hmm. I'll just move over to oak skin. Good, like get the rest first, right? I mean, I need yeah. aether and pierce rest, right? So like this Good gives me both. So that would be perfect. Also, where is the music? Let's get to Warden Krieg. Yeah, I'm just winging it for now. Um, I I had some Grim tools somewhere in my uh, like the theory crafting Google Docs. Um, <clears throat> I will make a build before I level an ultimate, so like next stream probably. Like make an updated build next stream. Also. I was like going back and forth, like, I, I thought, first of all I was like, okay, that's an elemental dust, right, so uh, I was like, yeah, this has to be lightning, right? Um, but then I was like, well, why not actually just play fire instead anyway, right? Um, because you can play pirate set, right? And pirate set is really good for health regen. And then elemental dust has like nothing apart from health regen going through it, right? So you could just go health regen. Good, you're back. With us, I don't know. Hello Rekt. I am a Bloom once again. Rekt beef and feels Bloom after months of incubating, our Twitch baby is complete. It's a celebration. I'll care for our offspring while you continue to play children's games. Pathetic. <laughs> is this how you show affection? <laughs> uh, I'll care for our offspring while you continue to play children's games. Pathetic. Is this how you show affection? <laughs> Hey, I can also show you affection by like spamming my emotes in chat and saying thank you so much for having my child. <laughs> thank you so much for your support, man. Thank you so much for the nine months of support, man. I mean, technically it's way more than nine months of support, right? I mean, you were like one of my first viewers ever, right? Basically. Uh, so, that was like you being here for, I don't know, almost three years now, probably? I think, something like that, right? I don't know anymore, it's, yeah, it's, it should be like around about three years now. It's crazy, dude. 
Hair review at partner? Yeah, exactly. Strangely long pregnancy. I mean, you decided to like... Yeah, whenever you were like not a sub, right, you were basically like taking a break from pregnancy. It's fine. Modern, uh... Modern pregnancies can do that, I guess. Blast shield. Okay. Okay. Don't crush my friends with Devil's Crossing, please. No, don't do that. Power. Blast shield up again, right? Yep, yep, yep. Just face tank. And it's that tank. Mortar seems good, right? Seems good. Twitch toddler. Okay, so that's that. I mean, we got some pretty nice um, flame brand action, not gonna lie. The weapon is pretty is nice for this build right defeat. now. Pretty nice want? indeed. Not even level 50? What is this? Hello? Okay, what can I get at level 50? Like some new gloves maybe? Hopefully. Oh, 6% fizzerance. But like less pierce and bleed. And honestly, while leveling, the pierce and bleed is better anyway. Like more important anyway, rather. Level 50. Let's see. These are insane, but also minus Pierce and Poison Rest, right? Oh yeah, what about Royal Exuberance set? Just play the set, right? Probably. Should be level 50 now. No. No, there we go. Okay. So how's my rest now? 77, how much my Ellie rest not max? What the hell? Okay. 65 Pierce, 70 Aether, 53 Chaos. I mean, that's all fine apart from the Ellie rest. Like, how is Ellie rest so bad with these rings? Huh. That is very interesting. Okay, I got the Pierce and Aether rest, right? Uh, maybe, like, use the skull as well. Hello? Go. I'm gonna skip to one more. Actually, two more. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Oh well. Guess we're gonna have to run around with 77 fire us. Um, also, we have to respec some stuff and get some stuff here as well, right? So, Behemoth is done, right? Let's get the Magi. Um, fire resistance, or like just elemental resistance actually. Scholar's Light has some, right? We could actually just play Scholar's Light. As bad as that sounds. Also get rid of the Lightning Devotion again, right? We don't play those if you play Lightning, of course. We also don't need this, right? Um, don't need this either, I think. Thermite mine. Okay, let's get Weeper. Right, the Weeper. The Weeper. Um, Hawk. Instead of green. Do I need the movement speed still? How do I know? Installation Dependencies Behemoth. Oh. Um, how many is this? Four. Okay, let's put the point back here then. Let's see what my movement speed does. Still... No, it's actually... Okay, never mind. We have to play Sailor's Guide. 
Never mind. Play a sales guide, remove that, and then we work on torch. Yep. Why did I choose Duncan? By the way, what what happened? Magi has been nerfed. Yes, it has been nerfed. But it was pretty freaking OP earlier, so it's probably still worth taking. I would say. Goodbye, Magi. What do you mean, goodbye? It's fine. It's fine. Okay, max thrust except for Aether and Kel, 67 and 53. More points here will fix Aether rest, right? Also, why am I not playing Configuration Relic? Let me actually fix that real quick. Right? If you can, right? As, long, as soon as you can. I think it's like a 35 in right? Configuration should be crafted immediately. Right. Ruination, Inferno, Calamity. Uh, Ruination, Inferno, Calamity. Make a configuration. This one here. Um, charge the beam there. Move to here. And let's just put the cocktail here. And And then you have a beamer, right? a beamer. It's not a bloomer, it's a beamer. Here you go, chat. That's what I'm playing right now. Basically, Aether Ray leveling, right? What the front? This is a little bit energy intensive now, though. Like, I'm not sure if I should actually use the ability or not. Because, <laughs> like... It takes too much energy. Same with the front, but still same. Yeah, exactly. Maybe, like, only uses it against bosses, right? Maybe, like, never use it other than bosses, apart from bosses. Supporting configuration. And more or less, right? I mean, the damage is absolutely insane on Demolition right? This class has like so much damage while leveling. Or, like, in general, it's insane actually. The only thing this class doesn't have is an exclusive. Other than that, it has like everything all the deeps, all the RR, almost. A good class, honestly. And you have fire, lightning, cold, aether, and chaos RR. That's crazy. And you have literally all RR here in agonizing flames as well. You don't have to kill this guy, right? Um, Balthazar, but I like to kill him because he is um, a very rippy hero. So it will be interesting. Maybe not that rookie. 
Maybe not even down to a bit. Let's go through here. Um, Let's just max out the Aether Resident Armor here. You could, I mean, you could go down to the Beehive, it's not like bad for XP actually. It's really not that bad. <clears throat> you certainly don't want to skip the shrines though. fast that's what we do right hit them hard and fast do the pit and kill yourself go kill yourself wow that's toxic dude i'm gonna die to myself probably Nothing sees but leaving conflag as it is. I mean, conflag is not good in endgame, right? Seas are good in endgame, so it's fine. Conflag is like a leveling relic, Keep only. Let's kill the beast. I'm gonna die to myself, right, Chat? I'm just gonna die to myself. That's it. Uh... Is my behemoth activated? Who's here? I'm okay fighting anybody but the one Eldrick. It's the other Eldrick. Okay, I mean, this guy should be easy, right? Yeah, I mean, this guy is the easiest out of the three that can spawn here. So I guess I got kind of lucky. Is there a, do these guys like give you a quest? Uh, XP? No, right. They're just useless. Damn. That's a big ass totem? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why they made it so big. But yeah, I mean, I guess to make it less confusing. So that you know which one is the enemies and which one is your totem that you're playing a shaman yourself. Put 
Pretty sure that's why they made it so big. You guys remember how salty Reddit was when they like first made the two bosses, like me and Elric? I'm like, what is this trash? Like, <laughs> why would you make a boss just because some player? Like, organized and won some tournament? How would you make. How would you make a boss for him? And make him so imbalanced? Like, fuck this trash game. Uh, so funny. I like more gameplay, but do you? It's very... it's kind of like Stone Totem, but worse, right? It's basically like Stone Totems, but worse. Classic Red, yeah. Pretty much. It's no fun dying 10 times in a row to that boss when you can't go past him. I mean, first of all, you can literally go past him. It's like Nepal, like, I don't know. Sometimes people are like resistant to learning in games, I think. Will motor traps fire quicker if you have more casting speed? No, they will not. They have like a fixed casting speed, just like stone totems actually. I think they have the same like fixed or like a similarly fixed casting speed. So the only way how you can scale them is well, cooldown reduction and getting plus like maximum summoners, right? Um, both of which this offhand does, right? Minus two seconds recharge and plus one summoner. Um, uh, and of course, I mean, percent damage, right? Like percent fire damage, percent slotting damage, percent physical damage, whatever you want to play, and then I like, convert, like, streamline, streamline your damage into one damage trap only, right? So, where the fuck are my buffs? I don't know. What happened? Do these need, like. Oh yeah, they have active energy regen per second, so when I was out of energy, they actually um, did the movement. Makes sense, makes sense. Conflagration speedrun. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Imagine speedrunning with like a channeling ability. Totally a mortar trap build, Copio. Turnox and pistol. Oh yeah, yeah, there's the one pistol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's really, really nice, actually. Isn't it obvious? Isn't it obvious? Isn't it obvious? <laughs> I love that plan. Isn't it obvious? Rage. No, you die. Thank you very much. Lots of people run into locks when hardcore and just play stop playing the game. I don't think people like even run into locks anymore. They just because people don't explore the map, right? They don't even run into him anymore.
I mean, the people that stop playing the game because of Locksmith, they like stop playing the game because of like any barrier they reach, right? I mean, I remember my very first hot character actually also died to Lokar. Um, but I literally made another one like the uh, like five seconds later, so I was just like, "What the fuck is this guy?" Okay, maybe I should like avoid that, that corner of the map next time. Cause I didn't understand what happened back then. Uh, but yeah. Winter showing coming, yep, yep. Yep, yep. Yep, exactly now actually. Uh, but it's the cocktail maybe? Yeah, cocktail seems good. Perfect. Look at the meme shower compared to like Magi, right? Like putting down my thermite mines, which is like proc the Magi, literally deals more damage than. Yeah, everything else. <laughs> Still, probably, right? Like, if I put do this, right? I mean, okay, I mean. <laughs> These guys just die no matter what, I guess. through thank you okay shaman is very useful right now right copium um let's just go for this like max health does max health like the entire cocktail on this right? not necessarily just for damage but more so for all the debuffs i know some players who thought they buff uh, the buff going on was just a bug. Like yourself. Well, if I have I came upon is uh Turnox and the pistol less cooldown than Pyron set in the pistol, by the way. Does Pyron even give it any cooldown? Yeah, I don't know. Chains of Anguish, nice. We got the best belt in the game, right? The best debate belt in the game, at least. 5% away, last heal, 4% total speed, right? Really good, really good. And then you read, you read the proc, right? And it's like, well, that's freaking garbage. Total damage modified by minus 25%. I mean, wow. <laughs> nice try. I put a motor trap down there, right below the bridge, so that it will pull all of these guys up here, so I can like get them for XP now as well, right? Ah, it's not that much XP, but some, I guess. Uh, probably doesn't really matter. Best debuff in the game, yep. Also, you don't have to actually talk to these guys below the. What am I doing?
How's my rest against the Mogara? It's fine, right? 80% pure strength. 400 armor. I mean, that's not a lot, but it's really fine. You wanna see what I'm playing right now? That's what I'm playing right now. Diego. Uh, I don't really have an endgame for this yet. I will make one on uh, Wednesday. Did I miss the entrance? That is so nice. Supermarket music. <laughs> On the menu today, just 20% off. Well, not the Ugdom Blooms, that's for sure. Because those are too freaking rare and expensive. But you can have some chipped claw, right? Tripped claws, some polished emeralds, 25% off. And so on and so on. Serrated spikes. You guys think it's too chill music? Too chill music for speed leveling, I guess? I mean, it's probably not wrong. Mighty Gaze of Angoliox. Ah, uh, we're going here, right? If this is open, we go here. Because the other one's gonna be closed anyway. I assume. There came an echo also too. Mm, can you post it on my Discord? And then we can listen to it on Wednesday. That's okay for you. Fine to you. Wait, why am I doing this? I shouldn't do this, right? I 
shouldn't even bother doing this. Don't use this card? Oh, okay. Sure. It works as well, thank you. Should be spooky. Spooky. Oh yeah, I could also play some more skeletons on Wednesday actually instead of I want some more skeletons. The legion is split on two fronts. I should also sell it to this guy actually. Sell, 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 sell. Just sell everything basically. That bad. But honestly, all I care about is rest on the metal protein, not even the damage. It's actually a decent ring as well with the armor, but. Yeah, it doesn't auto target the eggs, right? That's annoying. Okay. All right, eight, nine, eight, nine, ten. Seven, eight, nine. That's why nine is gone. Uh, -huh. uh put two points here, right? Sure. I kind of want all the points in cocktail because the second one, even though it only deals chaos damage, right? It's still really nice for the well uh, damage reduction, right? It's pretty good. Dude, so many. What the fuck? That's so many items. How am I full already again? Oh no, not actually. What am I saying? I mean, when this is sad that Grimdawn like showers in items. I mean, yeah, totems and shrines sometimes do that. It's true, but. I feel like most of frequent drops are fine, but yeah, the uh, like standard preserver stuff, which is like I don't know, kind of garbage for the most part anyway. Drops maybe like a little bit too much right nowadays compared to the rest because like 
whenever they made like a mod frequent, right? That just like dropped on top, I think. So. The amount of items that you got were kind of bloated, nowhere, I guess. Dude, holy shit, why am I so sleepy today? I'm like really sleepy today for some reason. How late is it? It's actually 9pm on there. Dude, I feel like it's 12 already. 12pm almost. My oh. buffs? No. Getting old. Is this how it becomes? Like how it feels like to become a boomer? Ah, oh, not like this. Workman. I don't have an endgame for this character yet. That's what I'm more or less playing right now. I will do one on one today. I can put an endgame for this character. And yeah, how are you, man? Workman. Yo, Circle, how are you, man? <laughs> playing some cocktail? That's. It's more like actually time for the mortar trap build finally. Or like a mortar trap build. But yeah, I mean if if Debo cocktail, yes, right. And then then always cocktail event. Turn off offhand makes sense? Yeah yeah. I mean it's literally the only thing you can do while leveling it. Other than that, Mortal Trap has like zero support while leveling, which is kind of weird. I don't know. I mean, it's still good for leveling though. I mean, what, I would say ca Cancel Bomb is better, but this is also fun. She's match. Well, not, not that mad, I guess. Did they already reduce the projectile speed? Wait, did they? I don't know. Did they? I mean, if they did on the test, test uh, on the test patch, then this is how it looks like. I mean, I'm playing on the test patch right now, anyway. Yeah, I don't know. I should check the notes if they have. Use that or not? I'm honestly not really a motor trap expert. Like I, I haven't really liked it as well that much. So I don't know how it's supposed to feel. If it like feels slower than before or not? No idea. Why shaman for motor trap? 
Um, because chat voted Shaman over Inquisitor. And because of probably half gen memes, but like half gen is also getting nerfed, but I mean, Maybe still half gen can be somewhat decent on the spell, we'll see. So that's planned. Yeah, I'll, I can check. Dude, why is it not there? Let's run, 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 circles. I feel like Water Trap is even lazier than Storm Totem, right? Because you can't put as many as with Storm Totem. And you're kind of like deploying them rather quickly. And they, I think, have also like a longer. Like they live for longer than totems. My scouts have reported I think. My scouts have so, like, you, you spend less time recasting them than with the uh, totems. Okay, what else do we want? Hmm. Like, what do I actually want here? Korok? Another Korok build? Tree of Life? Harvestman Scythe? Phoenix? Huh. I don't know, dude. Let's go for Watcher for now. Imagine having to recast pets, just play repets. That's coming from you. Wow. Just the person I'm looking Illuminate, Illuminator has embraced the pets so what? I have come to Disgusting. Also imagine not fucking using an XP pot. Holy. Did I hand a quest without XP pot? Am I the Pega? I mean, maybe I am, right? Uh, wouldn't have been the first, like the first time. <clears throat> Can you have the same amount of motor traps as Storm Totem? Uh, by default, it's only two, and I'm pretty sure totems are three by default. I mean, with Turnox you have plus one, but you could also take the totem of fan with plus one, right? And I mean, for endgame, right, you can have six with Lujigen, right? Six totems with Lujigen stuff. I'm pretty sure you can't have six waters like ever. I think like four is like max you can get or something like that. Or can you get six mortars? I'm pretty sure you can't. Alright, what do we want here, right? We have to kill Bolvar, find five Black Legion insignias, find the farmers, they're over here already. So, yeah, I actually kind of found everything we need, right? Because the singers are like easy to find anyway, right? Two of five. Could also do the shrine, why not? Right, why not? Why not? Why not? Three out of five. Shrine, yep. You love him until you don't, right? Or you hate him until you don't. I don't know. Uh, let's go actually go back here as well and in those costs. Petophobic. You can get six motors? No, I'm pretty sure you can like maybe you get five or four even only. Yeah.
Maya cursed the community with her last breath. Uh, the Maya banner is really interesting, yeah. Okay, why is this taking so long to load? Hello? Game? In game, please. Well, now that. Oh, also, let's go on it. Steven Skinner, let's talk to him, get some XP. Oh man, okay, some XP at least. <laughs> My yeah, yeah. Should be like an I yeah emote with like a burp. Come, friend. Right to bit. Dude, I'm gonna miss the bird memes though. Now that she's gone. Through, 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 through. Is she still playing on like 1.1.8 or something? Would be hilarious. Did that as well. 1192 isn't live yet. No, not yet. No. Yo, so pros work one. Um, I'm pretty sure you weren't here when I said this earlier. I will need every single minute of the stream to level this character up to another 70. So I can't look at your build today, I'm sorry. I mean, I can either refund the points or look at it on Wednesday, as you prefer, as you like. Also, you will do an actual link anyway, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he knows how to do it. Like, he's done links in the past, he just messed up this time. Yeah, Naomi played on 1.0. But she also got it from unofficial sources. So to say. Jeez, 
Smashed patch. Pretty much right. Dude. Also, where are her crystals? Hello? Is she like supposed to spawn crystals? If I die in the speed leveling, I would have time for Grim Tools, but imagine dying Grim Dawn. I mean, speed learning with Loker set used to be somewhat sketchy. You could actually die. I don't know if it actually could. Uh, I don't know. It might just have gotten easier. And or I mean, I was more experienced, more experienced with the game, right? can still kill you. I mean, that is very much true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, since the totem patch, it has become scarier again. That is actually true. And I do click every single totem when I speed level. Like, I actually do not. But, I mean... It's like PoE, right? If, if you have, like, giga damage, like, things can't even touch you. And I feel like you got more damage now than you did like two years ago, for example. And also, yeah, if you know, then it's harder. You know? I mean, then it's easier, of course. <laughs> like, harder to die. Easier to not die. Okay, so Cocktail is like triple soft cap, right? Uh, Demon Fire actually has a sweet spot not at the, at the soft cap, but rather at 13 points. So you are gonna like. So we're gonna put a 13 point in Demon Fire. Um, and then probably just work towards Primal Bond, I guess. Something like that. Because the other one is kind of useless for me anyway, right? I mean, it's more damage, of course, on the lightning part to mortar right now. As long as I handle the lightning part. Yeah, color store is absolutely insane. Like, imagine this and then, like, color store and tap. Like, your damage would be completely insane. I should use Wind Devils right now though, right? I should actually work on Wind Devils. Like, does this fire RR as well actually, right? Elemental RR. I should get the Wind Devils. Also handle the quest from Comments Chosen. Oops.
May the light. What? I didn't get three Catholicies of binding? Wow. Wow, dude. Never mind then. Let's go and get this um, shrine here instead in Astro Canvada. Sort of speed. No speed. Haha. <laughs> no, I don't know actually. I mean, speed is just neutral, right? I have no seals at all. Wow. Oh. Yeah, it's just a parameter. Oh, what the fuck? What happened? What was this? Rest in peace, headphone users. Why am I walking? Like, what am I doing? Chat, what am I doing? Why am I walking? Good. Betray precisely. Betray that fort icon. Some more betray that fort icon. Five more levels, right? Six more levels, actually. Did I skip stuff? No, right. Yep. Yep, death. Dude, why is my shoulder so... I don't know, I, I feel so bad today, I don't know why. I'm really not a chat today either, but so we're not. Um, let's go to Fort Icon. Kind of on the quest there.
work, Good work. All right, let's go to Necropolis interior. And we also got the shrines, the two shrines here. Right? I mean, I felt wet, like I felt wet at the start of the stream, but now it's kind of I don't know. I'm just like too exhausted today, I guess. It's been a long day for me today. Um, so yeah, maybe I'm too boomer as well already. I uh, know, too old. Today you took a few e break, tomorrow you can go ham again. 12 hours a day is kind of exhausting. You've been playing like 12 hours a day the entire weekend, I guess, right? Dang. I mean, it's Saturday and Sunday, was Friday was just the start. Yep. Dang. What are you playing, by the way, in PoE? What's, what's cool in PoE? I kind of wanted to play Path of Exile, but then like the items happened, right, that, uh, that I'm making for the league, and I wasn't like able to invest any time into really like checking out anything in PvE anymore and I don't know I would have to like go basically completely blind or like just ask anybody in, like somebody in chat to like send me a build because I don't even know what I want to play you know like I, mean, I could play the like poisonous concoction which is like the same as the other concoction but actually good as far as I know right? it's like actually better I don't know why it's better, but people say it's better, so I trust people that it is better, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, 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 I know, I know you, you PM'd me that uh, like you could set me up for PoE League if I wanted to. Uh, I appreciate that, by the way. <clears throat> by the way, I just didn't have the time to like even properly think about that. Like, how do you say that? Proposal? Proposal? No. What's it called? Angebot? I know, I don't know English, dude. <laughs> Offer? There we go, yeah, a proposal. Dude, when I'm like tired and feeling not that well, like my English gets even worse. What is this? I mean, obviously. Everything that like requires thinking is just going down the drain. Also, I'm getting super hungry as well. I don't know, like, today is scuffed. I'm scuffed today. <laughs> what can I say? As long as we don't die here, right? Hollowed Fang? Fuck me, dude. Imagine having, like, eight crystals and blooms for all these materials. To need, like, constantly. Okay, let's go back and craft the Hollowed Fang now. Get some food and maybe stuff to drink. I could. But I could also just like go on for another half hour and then like be maxed up and just stop the stream for the day. I think I'm gonna do the latter. I mean, yeah, I know stream quality might suffer a bit now, but like if I eat and to do a break now, like I don't really have the time to like take the break now and then like stream just a half an hour like half an hour longer either. I don't really have the time today unfortunately. Because I gotta get get up like tomorrow early anyway. Like early up tomorrow anyway. So yeah. If it was like more in the middle of my stream I would totally do that right now. I might have like missed my window, like my time frame to do that. Uh, anyway, let's go back here, right? And then kill the Logorium. We're level, what, 67? 65 only, actually, what? I mean, we're gonna have to, like, do some barrel on this. I mean, at least we're leveling quick, because I kind of want to just, you know, eat. <laughs> so, the leveling process is pretty quick, I guess. 
took you long we are and then he sounds like took you long enough and I can like fuck off Ahem. Two hours, seventeen minutes, and sixty-six. That's totally fine, right? I mean, it's demo leveling, right? Doesn't matter which secondary, like which secondary you're using here as a, I don't know, like how do you say that, like a cosmetic class, right? As long as you're playing on demolitionists, you're gonna be quick for leveling, right? I'm gonna die on screen like the Korean player. Cause I stream like half an hour without eating and drinking. I'm pretty sure it needs more than that. Maybe my character's gonna die to one of these totems if I'm like tired and not paying for attention, right? But then again, it's more toast, right? Like, it's just when in doubt, run around in circles and let them do the job, right? So, can you really die with a spell? It's not a melee bow, right? If it was like a melee duel with Nightblade, I could, like, maybe actually die, right? If I'm not playing properly. But in waters, like. Imagine dying, right? Mentally starved, right? Too? Mentally starved, starving, and dying of mental thirst. I mean, I still have something to drink here, it's just, I feel like more, or like, I feel more like I should make myself a tea, instead of just drinking water right now. Uh, the Dune movie? I have not actually, no. Uh, a very good friend of mine wanted to watch it together with me, but then we couldn't really find a date. Like where we had time together to watch it. So I haven't seen it yet actually. But I wanted to see it like basically day one when it came out, but I I just didn't see it yet, I guess. Water is dude, like what is this? Look at this. Like killing mobs from like three rooms away. Just mortal things. Burn the items. Uh, no items. Hey, what? Did I? What's going on? Did I hide rams? Were there not a single? Was not a single rare there? We're listening to the audiobooks of the series on the third book. Nice. I've actually read the first book like a long time ago. Um, I haven't read book number 23 though. And I've seen also like the, the old Dune movie. I think at least twice. Pretty good. Or, like pretty decent. I mean, compared to like Star Wars of course, like the effects back then were scuffed. Like the Dune effects were kind of low budget, right? Yeah, the, the book is really good for sure. You didn't see any Dune stuff ever? Well, it's now you should. At least like watch the new movie if it's good. Like if it's actually good and also like visually pleasing. Because the old movie is like also kind of good slash okay but like it's visually low budget and you can see that and the book is also pretty good
Ja, das ist ein Wappen. Shield at the hand. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I have not seen a single thing, like, not even a trader from the new one. Like, I wanted to go in there, like, without any spoilers, but then I didn't go at all yet. Soon to um, Copium. Yeah, it's. Yeah, yeah, it is. Ah, uh, it's pretty good. Like. It's. It has, like, way more depth than other, like, science fictional things. I mean, obviously, more than Star Wars. Like, Star Wars is pretty. Pretty bland compared to Dune, for sure. Like, compared to Dune, I would say, for sure. I mean, Star Wars doesn't even have, like, a book, right? It's just a movie, and that's it. Um, so. I mean, obviously, it's already, like, more bland because it's just a movie and, like, no books. Right? But, like, isn't the Star Wars story, like, more or less. I mean, which story was it that it's somewhat based on? Mandalorian was super sick there? I've not watched the one either, actually, yet. Sixty-seven. Okay. Yeah, the OGs are... I mean... Like, after rewatching them actually somewhat recently... I'm like, even the old ones have like, their flaws. Like... Kind of big ones, actually. But I mean, for the time... Like, but like, also, like, even the old ones, I feel like... I feel like some of the new ones... Aren't, like people say the new ones are like so much worse, but like compared to the old ones, they're not even like that much worse. The scene with Obi Wan and Darth Maul and the Rebels. Yeah. Like, episode one, you can like see that it's... I mean, yes, it's CGI, but like it's... You can like see that it was like one of the first like full CGI movies or something like that, right? It's like when the, like, the one ta like tanks of the those natives like roll up on the boo right or whatever the, this the planet is called again. It looks like such a bad computer game. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, in, in episode two and three, it's like way better, but like in episode one, it's like. Uh... Like, episode 1 looks like a Lego movie, honestly. Like, the graphics and everything is like Lego. You've returned. So I a room metal, a room metal. Blöth, Solel, Blöth, Bismiel. Solum, Ulgrim, what? what? Something, something, right? I don't know. And then, like, it came from my mouth, yada yada yada, right? All the memes, blah blah blah. We're shit talking Star Wars. GZG, welcome back. And I know you're like a Star Wars fan, so I'm like, you're gonna be like, oh, shit, fucking Star Wars. 
Uh, we were like actually talking about Dune, like... I wanted to watch the new Dune movie, but I haven't yet. I mean, I wanted to like watch it day one, but... I also wanted to go with a friend, but then we couldn't find like... Proper time frame for the two of us, and then I... I'm not sure if he has like watched it by now already or not, and I certainly haven't watched it yet. It's kinda scuffed. Dune was great. Yeah, I've read the first book as well. I haven't read the others, but the first book is already like really good, so I can like imagine the others being also good and I've also watched the old Dune movie like I think at least twice, so I mean the old ones are or, like the old ones are less I mean it's not bad, but you can see it's low budget, right? And then we were like talking about Star Wars, so, like compared to Star Wars in a way, and then I was like... Honestly, the like... The graphics in like the old three ones looked like better than in freaking episode one. Like episode one looks so weird in some ways. Like like many scenes look so weird in episode one. The scene was great. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to watch it like at some point for sure, for sure, for sure. Is soon a horror sci-fi? No, it's just... No, no, it's more like, it's a little, it's just standard sci-fi, it's a little bit more politics maybe than Star Wars. I mean, Star Wars is also somewhat, at least like the 1, 2, 3 are also like somewhat politics, I guess. I mean, more shadow, I would say. I mean, to be honest though, like episode 1 to 3 is at least like a little bit more complex politics than like episode 4 to 6, like the old ones. The other, like, the story is, the overall story is, I feel like, better in 4 to 6, but the politics part is so cringe in 4 to 6, like, it's actually so bad in the old ones. Uh, so fucking bad. It's about someone being a very special boy whose mom is trying to teach him to be a top. <laughs> In a way, I guess. It's not about walking, finding the sound, and it's not about riding worms. What? But yeah, they, they ride like big worms in um, Dune. Yeah, the story is like... Um, I feel like more proper sci-fi than Star Wars, like more like actual somewhat realistic sci-fi than Star Wars. I mean Star Wars is cool, but it's like way more way more fantasy than this. I mean sci-fi is also like science fiction, and I feel like the fiction part I mean the fiction part is big in both, but I've, at least to me it always felt like the science part in Dean was like the politics part and everything else that like, could be realistic is like actually more realistic and Dune and Star Wars maybe. I mean in quotation, but I don't know, it's like still sci-fi, right? But could be realistic as well. Uh... Whatever it is in, if you see the old parts, maybe, what yeah. you I can what you have, I can't. Cloning ego memories goes way off realistic. I mean, what's unrealistic about cloning and, and like, basically the memories as well? Like, I actually, I mean, that can actually also be something that works somewhat, I guess. I don't know. Like, cloning is, like, 
the most, I mean, I don't know, that's not even sci-fi, that's just reality, like, what are you talking about? It just we don't do it that much, but if, I mean, technically you could. Okay, uh, we start with these guys, right? Friendly. Friendly with the... They make like good soup, right? So let's be friends. A blessed welcome. My wife used to use the litany against fear when riding around a scary horse. <laughs> Genetic memory is weird, yeah. I mean... Yeah, yeah, that's true. Like, Yoon does make it, like, more specific. That is true. That is true. But what if... I mean, technically, right? Genes are just code. So, technically, you could save... Or, like, it could be possible to, like, save basic memories in the code. Uh, it's not really what we have right now in nature, but... Technically, you rather save code and genes. I mean, when it comes to like a how do you say that in English? Probably Earth historical point of view. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god, what's the word? I can't I can't find the words anymore, I'm too tired, I'm sorry guys. Like when you look at the history of the earth, right? And when you look at what was the thing that became stable and worked as a well code to trans like transposition information throughout like generations then this genes and genetic code right so it's like it's it's the best code in the world at least that came out of nature itself i mean you could also say it's maybe the only one but that's not probably not even true because there might have been like other codes that existed before our current genetic code that just weren't like stable enough and just like died you know basically like died out Yeah, that's that's true. That's true, GCG. The God Emperor is like a little bit Warhammer-like in a way, but except he's a worm on top. Prehistoric? Uh, no, no, more like basically throughout the history of the Earth, right? That was like the word I was looking for. Right? Like through the, like throughout the history of the the Earth, like from today. I mean, from from when the Earth, like or like the world, basically, uh, like since its creation or whatever you want to call, it, like not creation, but like since it's. Whatever you want to call it, right? Until today, basically. Since it's like materialization.
Alright, so the crowns and the mine as well, and then we're basically done here, right? We should be level 70 done. And yep, that's a good point to go into alternate. Assuming my resistances are not scuffed. Um, they seem a little bit scuffed though, not gonna lie. <laughs> what is this Aether and Chaos Rust? I mean, we can like go triple survivors and Genuity, or like the other one actually, for the Chaos and the Aether Rust later, right? Um, I could also just like use defensive augments, I mean defensive components instead, right? I guess. But also I will need higher poison rust, right? Star. Dude. Especially like episode 6, like the first one was a failure, like why would you make another one that's like just as bad? <laughs> and then like Don't they like make another one even like in episode 8 or 9 or something like that? Like why? Why would you do yet another one? Like I'll prepare all these guys. Yo crap turtle you man, welcome to One eight is a planet there. A death planet instead of a death star. Or like they just built the Oh they just built the artillery into the into the planet. Yeah, I, I haven't even seen that one, so like I don't even know how they actually made that one. I should probably like watch the um, I've I've watched seven but I haven't seen like eight and nine. I should maybe like watch them at some point, just like know why they're that bad. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's not even worth it though. Yeah, we've done all the crowns, hopefully we have it. Hopefully we have, we have done like six crowns, six of the green crowns in here. This quest is always so scuffed, like why is it not? Why is the quest not to just kill the boss here? Like, that would have been like way cooler, honestly. Yeah, I like, why not have the quest, oh my god, to kill this guy instead? Since he's like actually scary, you know? This nade is its finest at, at its finest. Worth a giggle. <laughs> yeah I guess. Rogue one probably the best one. Okay. You land the weapon I mean on the moon and you put the weapons there. Oh, okay. Why did they oh, okay. Isn't it just like an artillery on a planet then? Like what did they call it even Death Star then? Or Death Planet or whatever. I guess because the name like sounds cooler and it sells better or something. Okay. Got the fetish. The fetish for the fetish party corner. I mean corner party, whatever. Want the points here. Another point here maybe. Let's go. And yeah, we will have to fix our rest at the start of next stream, I'm pretty sure. Okay, 2 hours 41 minutes. Well, 1 to 70, not too bad, not too bad, that's fine. How's my reputation? Yeah, it's horrible. I'm honored with homesteaders, or pretty much all the matters, I guess. Yeah, we'll just fix this next time. So, yeah, thanks for watching as well on YouTube. I'll see you around on the next episode of the Smaller Trap Elementalist. Anyway, we are here, right? We are actually here. We have come together on this lovely Wednesday afternoon to 
speed level, the elementalist in ultimate. And if I remember correctly, I have to still like fix my resistances actually. So let's check out my resistances in ultimate. I might have to get some augments, right? I have 70 poison rods, 27 aether rods. What the fuck? It's more than that, right? There we go. This is already maxed out there, okay. And 43 chaos. I mean... <clears throat> You can always just fix your poison rest over here, right? Fixed. Get some Aether Rest, right? And this is good enough for Act 1, probably. I kinda want 80% Aether Rest though for Act 1 on Krieg, right? Do I have another belt for demolition? That's not so. Because my current one just sucks. Right? Preserving at least has vitreous, so that's something. I would lose the pierce runs. 69 pierce runs. I mean, that's perfect. What about weapon augments? Can't I get like weapon augments from... <clears throat> Let's go to Elite real quick and check out the weapon augments from say... Like Legion for example. You have all congregated in the same hole in the internet, you are now prepared for the Elementalist. Yo, Steve, welcome on. Uh, I can check it out later, yeah. I can check it out once I'm like... 94, I think. If, I mean, if you're still there then, I hope you're still there then. I'll give you a good price Let's see here. Left. Any resistances? On weapons? Wait, can you get resistances on weapons actually, like before Revered? On the armors? I'm not even sure. Oh yeah, there's Chaos Rust here, that's good. And Pierce Rust here. Actually Homestead to the rescue, right? These guns are so good. Okay, that's some Pierce Rust again, right? Yeah, this is fixing everything apart from Chaos, so that's, that's good enough for Act 1. Homestead, match. Why match? How are you doing? Async. Alright, X Depot. Let's go. I also just realized that you get actually another plus one motor. At 24 points, right? You have 3 at 22 and you get 4 at 24, which is crazy. So you can actually get 6 motors, I think. Maybe even seven. How many plus mortars do you get on gear again? You get like plus one from the glass, right? And then Pyron is like what? Another plus one? So that's six, right? Six mortars. But I'm pretty sure if you use like Turnox's offhand and like another headpiece, right? You would actually get seven even instead of Pyron's. I 
and correct me if I'm wrong. Can the cooldown support seven? That's the oh yeah, that's a good question. I mean, I have two second recharge right now, and they live for twenty four seconds, so I can already like sustain 10, 11, 12, something like that. Just code time dilation. Now you don't even have to, right? Configuration, yeah, it's just the filler. And like plus one demo, right? It's already like good just for the plus one demo. And then if you wanna like lose your energy, you can also like click the button, right? Sold it all around, yep, yep. It is indeed, it is indeed. How many devotions do I have right now? Oh, I didn't apply my devotions last time at the end. What the hell am I doing? Dude? Like seven unassigned devotions. I'm not drunk. Rather, was I drunk the last time? I need one more for 55 though. So, like, once we have 55, we can just um, assign all eight at once. I'm not drunk, but we can arrange now. Not yet, not yet drunk. Drunk local leveling, not a mate, more. I mean, that's, that's I guess how you die, right? Yo, Ulven. Thanks for the raid, man. One man raid. One man spam, one man ban? What man? What one man, how are you? What did you play even on stream? I mean, I wanted to watch a bit earlier before stream, but I was like so busy like that morning, I didn't even watch it all, dude, sorry. One, it's two. It's actually two, though. I don't know, Twitch is like... Apparently not counting... Second viewer for some reason. No Man's Sky, or One Man's Sky. <laughs> <laughs> one Man's Sky, yeah. I guess so, yeah. Uh, that game actually is good now, right? That game is actually good now. It's not a scam anymore. Fat raid, yep. Coming in hot with a fat raid. So many annoying things I still have to fix. Really? That doesn't sound that well. Not that good. Okay, killed Milton. Auto targeting black holes. By the way, Toma, um, I mean, you were probably in Ulvid stream, so you probably missed me messing with sound files in a very, very professional way, in Gold Wave. <laughs> uh, was so scuffed. But at least, like a certain ability has now a new sound effect. Is it Panetti? No, 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 it's, it's a new skill. I'm not changing like existing skills. So. It's 
bathwater. It's an exclusive skill there. Very exclusive. <laughs> can I say what is in chat? I mean, chat can also tell you. You just missed it. I mean, they weren't wrong when they said it's bathwater. I mean, the fine is literally called like bathwater. Something like that. Okay, what do we do, chat? Do we. Oh, this is soft cap, right? This is fine already. What else? What else? Get more of this, I guess. Uh, I do actually need the Pierce Run saving, right? Or Aether Rest, rather. Why would I trust chat? I don't know. Why did I? What? Did I ignore him? Was he down here and I just ignored him? He got ignored. He's bad. Pet the hands, dude. Imagine being like he being held hostage and you're just being ignored by the Taken. Wow. I read chat like a free him. <laughs> you don't, KekW. Haha. But I just freed him though. And also I just read chat, so like it fits, right? So you're actually saying I'm reading chat all the time and freeing every single vendor in the game. Nice, thanks for the thanks for the compliment then. Trust all people. By the way, does anybody want to buy a bridge? <laughs> a bridge? What? <clears throat> If you sell stairs though, right, we could uh, buy some Whoa. stairs from you and replace the ones in Grand Dawn. Thank you later tonight. Perhaps. Why am I still playing this dead game when you can play the most popular RPG, Wilson? Yeah, that's uh, That's a good question, right? Why not play Wilson instead? Can you mod Volson though? Can you actually mod Volson? Imagine modding Volson right? <laughs> Modding lol. Modding a dead game is the same as being given up to mod. Sag. I can cry while modding in CryEngine. That's almost a German joke. Good one. I like it. When is the 1192 gonna come out? Soon, TM. Yeah. Like, actually soon though, right? Actually very soon. Like, it's gonna basically come out, like, very soon. Like, super soon. <laughs> Yo, Naja, welcome. How much OA DA on the lower end do you guys reckon one needs to kill Ravager? I mean, ideally you don't want to get crit, and you always want to hit him, so you need like... What is it, like 3050-ish, at least, at the very least? Something like that? And if you're fighting Ravager of Mines, then you want even more DA because he like has another 200-ish right up there. Or like 150 or something like that. So like... Do not get crit against Ravager of Mines, you kind of want like 3.2 KDA. But I mean, you can also kill him 
while just getting crit anyway, right? Yeah, yeah I mean, there, there are lower DA builds that can kill him, of course, like, you, you can on some builds just get crit and it doesn't matter. But yeah, if you don't want, like, generally, right, you wanna always hit him and you don't wanna get crit, so. We did this one on ultimate. I mean, uh, at the start of the speed leveling, right? Is there a way to add sounds to Phantasma Blades projectiles? I mean, they do have a sound, right? Or did they not? Or is it only the um, the initial like spawning of the? I don't know. I haven't like looked into every single file so far, but I, I mean, I, I guess they have a sound like they have some kind of sound file as well, of course. I mean, every, every single thing in this game that makes a sound has a sound file, so. And if there's a sound file, you can edit that sound file. Only the initial sound? Yeah, maybe you can only, uh, like, adjust the initial sound then. I'm not sure. Dude, where are the fabrics? Hello? Fabric number one, okay. Fabric number two down here, and then hopefully number three up in the building, and the ones that skipped. Can't type because bad fingers. Sag. Break up. Oh yeah. Also, um, when I when I like was talking about DDA and OA, right? <clears throat> I meant like effective OA and DA, right? So if you have say 2.8 thousand OA, but you also use 12 out of 12 flashbang, which like reduces enemy DA by another 250, you basically have like 250 higher effective OA than what your sheet tells you. Right? And if you have 2.8k and you use flashbang, you have like 3,050 OA basically. As long as you use that ability, of course. Solo cell stashed. Okay, also let's adjust the stuff here, right? I was gonna go for Eye of Korvac, right? Totally not addicted to Korvac, by the way. I couldn't get this now, that's kind of sad. Why not? Because I have flat fire here. Hmm, pretty sure I can remove this one, right? Remove the burn damage and like get this one on start because like the flat fire or like flat burn does. Don't need it, right? I don't need it. Like, need it for what? Wait, I was work working on the watcher? What? Why though? Let's go for callback, right? There we go. Wait, then I don't even have to remove the fire node, right? The burn node, rather. New metal. I have Korvac. You happen to Who? Oh, I was about to save her, indeed, like, I, I promise.
I wonder, is this snow better? All damage and crit damage than this one? Ah, that actually is right. Like the flat burn, who cares about that, right? And all damage is like still 50% burn damage and 50% fire. So like, that is way better actually. And you get crit damage on top, right? So this has to be better. What's the fire beam move from this one? That's Conflagration. It's a relic ability from the Conflagration relic. There's like a, well, there were 35 plus one all skills to Demolitionist metal. I mean relic. Which is like good for leveling. For endgame though, this skill doesn't have enough damage. But it's pretty nice for leveling, especially like as a filler, like right here, right? Thank you. I put down the, the mortars, put down the cocktails and so on, and then just like fire away with the beam if I want to lose my energy, right? <clears throat> Put it to good use. You like what? So we don't really need all that much pierce thrust anymore, right? Like I could put another I don't need dust garbage, right? But I could put another, like, Chaos Rust one here now. Instead of the Pierce Rust. And have no Stun Rust, nice. Oh, that's kinda... Kind of a scary trade as well, actually. Anyway, let's move on here. Let's rescue the Apprentice. Using like a budget version of Skater. Oh yeah, on Skater you can like basically kill all super bosses if you just have um like if you just kite properly as well, right? You have to well with Ravager, the thing is, I mean of course just like all the other super bosses, he also gets scarier Um when he drops like to fifty percent, like below fifty percent HP, right? He would like enrage them. And also has a debuff. Yeah, that's only up temporarily, right? You will see it in the top, I mean down, like bottom right corner above your energy bar. It's like an eye, like a red eye. And whenever he has this eye debuff on you, he uh, well reduces all the resistances by like 30%, including physical, so you basically like hit, hit like a truck as long as you have that debuff on you. So try to never get hit, basically, while you have that debuff on you. And then it should be fine. Cool. If you get hit without the debuff every now and then, it's pretty fine. Like you should like be able to like take one or two hits every now and then. But if you have that I debuff on you, then you absolutely don't want to get hit. Just don't get hit. I mean, yeah. In the end, that's uh, that's how you play RPGs. Right? Maybe not. Oh right, Korvark actually is not as good on this play, right? Because we're a Demo, right? And Demo could just play Flashbang or Cocktail instead. Like, it's only reducing DA right now. Korvark skill. It's still good for CC though. Hmm. Yo, Horia, Horia, welcome, welcome. The spirit of the build after the 10th month break, you got time to doctor. Uh, right now, uh, I would prefer to wait until I'm level 94. I don't know if you're gonna still be there in like, I don't know, two hours from now. I mean, if you are gonna still be there, then I would prefer to do that later. <clears throat> Thirty minutes to one hour. Uh, then we might as well do it like after Krieg. Monk. So like in five minutes or ten minutes, probably. And then I guess we might as well do the other. That got linked earlier as well. 
Dude, mortars are such cheating, like, what is this? How can you, like, put mortars over here when you're standing here and, like, you can't, like, they have to, like, walk around, right? What is this? Oh, it's because this is, like, sometimes open and sometimes closed, and because it's something like that, you can, like, put them through here. Like, if you try to put them through here, right, it doesn't work, right? Yeah, it doesn't work here, but you can do it here because it's, like, a... Right? Just, like, a closed connection, right? What? Why does it not work anymore? What? Oh, it worked over here, right? No? Huh? Okay, never mind. I don't get this game. This game is hard, man. <laughs> what is this game, dude? Just getting, t getting hit. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> A driving strawberry? Wow. Cast it on target. Oh yeah, maybe it's because of that, right? If you cast it on... Oh yeah, yeah, it's cast on target here, right? Yep. Like, if there's a target, you can cast it through walls. If there's no target, then you can't. Or like, if it's too far away, then you can't. I don't know what Interesting. Oops. Today learned we have... What is this game? Yeah, it's uh... It's pretty weird to mod this game. Serious then can probably like Yeah. Basically tell you stories about that. That's weird to mod this game. Like that this game in itself is already kinda of weird sometimes. I mean it makes sense like once you understand how things are coded, but like some things are just like, still weird, I don't know. Scuffed game. Why is the train so loud? Is the window not properly closed? Mortar new meta? Mm. Have, I, have I ever played a meta build, Naomi? Should I buy this game? I mean, after seeing that mortar interaction, you probably don't want to buy it anymore. Just pirate it. Yeah, like, if, if you can't afford the $5 that this game, like, costs on sale, like, um... Yeah. I don't know what to tell you, right? Naomi's about to go to jail. Monka. We like what how to conjure, been loving that. Nice, nice. Yeah, it's a really strong build. Really, really high leech. Very sturdy. Can you refund a pirated game? Don't give her any ideas, dude. Apparently you're not a pirate. Wait, did you actually go and see a lawyer because you pirate like Pirate of the game? What? Are you like actually getting into trouble for like pirating a game? Imagine. You had to actually defend yourself? What?
So, what did you tell your lawyer? Like, hey, yo, like, you know, I downloaded this game, like, Ill like illegally, and uh, that's totally not pirating, right? And then your lawyer was like, yeah, that's fine, that's, like, not pirating, right? And that's, like, what he said, and then you're like, oh, yeah, okay, then I'm fine, right? Copium. <laughs> Is that what happened, or...? Like, if the lawyer says it's legal, then it's legal, right? I, w I would have, yeah, like, I didn't want to actually, like, I didn't actually want to pirate it, I just, like, accidentally, like, hit the download button, and, like, after playing it for, like, two hours, I wanted to, like, refund it anyway, but I couldn't. So, like, it ha must have been, like, an inside job, right, because, like, the refund button was broken. So, like, they, they made it unavailable so that they could, like, convict me for... for pirating a game. Yep, misclicked. Played a game for two hours by misclick. Yep. But only two hours, right? Like, as long as you only pirate the game for two hours, it's fine. It's not pirating when it's only two hours. Is it also only? Is it also like? Is it no sex if you only do it for two hours? If it's sub two hours, it's not sex, right? Doesn't count. It's not cheating. Copium. Then you never have sex. I mean, that's on you, though. You said we? Yeah. I hope you're bad in your jail, let's convey. <laughs> I didn't do nothing. I was gonna ask you like how many games did you pirate, but maybe it's better you don't answer that question, right? Probably better that you don't say anything right now, anyway. Just like, don't say anything. Zero? <laughs> oh, yeah, you posted the Grim Tools? Oh, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Uh, yeah, let me find the break, right? I, I said after Krieg, right? Let's just do it now, then. We are finally ready to play the game some more. We need to hit level 94 today, after all, so let's, let's do that. After doing the three craft now though, I really also wanna try the pure farm with like zero cooldown and like six motors or something like that. That should be interesting. Like probably pretty squishy, but they're interesting. I really don't wanna, like, I don't need to go in here, I should have rather, like, done the quest. But oh well.
But if you don't get the quest, you can't even talk to the guy, right? You kind of do want to talk to the guy right, for, for ultimate because you do want to have the vendor for like buying an series mod, maybe, right? How do I get two points to motor trap guys? That's on the metal, right? Do I have the non-mythical one? Let me actually check real quick. I also gotta change my pants in a way, right? These are already soiled. I mean um outdated. Well, you worked here. We have to hit them hard. i let you know how the purifier goes. I'm thinking of doing that next after this video you're learning. Alright, alright. Sounds good. Okay, uh, what am I looking for? I'm like looking for more tar. I actually have it. That's perfect, dude. There it is. It's gonna speed up leveling like a lot. Because with this one... I will have to craft another Aether Soul. I also missed the Smith. What the fuck am I doing? Hello? Um, how did I miss the Smith? I have 58 Aetherus. I have to be a little bit careful real quick here for a second. Uh, also, I still forgot to change my pants. <laughs> like, what am I doing with? Dude, five crystals over here? That's crazy. Prepare up please, yeah. Pretty much prepare up please. Move along, stranger. Okay. So we need to actually fetch the quest, right? Like, go back here, talk to the guy, and get the quest. And then certainly get the smith, right? Now, what did I want plus the two mortar trap, right? Because now we have. Instead of three, we have four mortar traps, right? With a 24 points, you. Um, get another plus one to the summon limit. It's very important that you get 224 points actually. Okay, let's go and get the smith. How did I miss him? What am I doing, dude? Where is his daughter there anyway? Uh, I don't know. That's a good question actually. Move along. You could join us. Okay. Sign with Engram, yep. Okay, so now we just craft a and what? An Aether Soul for the Aether Resistance, right? And then also a... What is it? This... Order, I think. Yeah. Okay, and now do I need the um, poison blue rustle? I do, right? God dang it.
monk. I mean, the fourth mortar will only be really um, noticeable against bosses, right? Otherwise, you don't even have enough time to put them all down. <laughs> more disorders? What are you implying? Even more? Don't die to the sky, right? No, 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 don't die. Okay. You might already have some. I mean, maybe I have some too. I don't know. Some hidden disorders. Some disorders in Snash. Just GD Stash your orders away, right? What? How did I? <laughs> how does this game do? Like, how did I put that a mortar down there from up here? <laughs> okay. Seems good, right? Seems good. What is that mortar, man? Hello. Great. Fix the game, crate. With the other setup though, right, if you had Underross's Amplifier and the Mask of Infinite Truth and you have like 0 0.5 seconds of recharge on Water Trap, like you can like... And you get 6 of them, right? You get like... That's crazy, right? You can just deploy all of them at once. So crazy. Yep. Uh, what do we? 
put the points. One here and then like three down here, right? It was not dying, no? Thank you. Okay, okay. I wonder how much worse the health regen is going to be on this build in the end. Because like on this patch, right, the health regen already got nerfed, so... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Like, Grim Tools might show me good numbers, but the action numbers might be like way worse. I'm not sure about that, we'll see. Flame Torn is good if you use your motor as aggressive. Wait, does it spawn or go around the motors? Like, don't you also kind of want to, like... Get some Chaos to follow conversion as well to make it worth it, man? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not worried about the water. <laughs> like, the, the water is still like, uh, I mean, it might be like a little bit worse for like highest art than before. Like a little bit worse, maybe, but probably not even. Like, if you just play, I mean, he, the thing is like, Avenger also got Fizzrest, right? He has like more Fizzrest now than before. Like, he got compensation buffs basically. I'm more worried about like the average like caster health engine build rather. Um, like this one. But spawns around the motors. Oh that's pretty cool. Yeah, the problem is mm, I feel like in a build like this, they take like so long to deploy the runt. I do have very bad cooldown reduction for mortars actually on this build. It's gonna be even worse with the high set. Because you lose the cooldown reduction from turnoffs actually. It's gonna be higher cooldown than right now. Redonomet over here as well, right? Redonomet. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be a very stationary build, honestly. Like, it's not gonna be good for farming. If you have, like, no cooldown motors, right? It's like... It's gonna be, like, okay for maybe SR or Crucible, I guess. If... Elementalists can even do that. Like, properly. But 
I mean, I guess the build should be pretty tanky, right? Should be tankier than... I mean, not the tankier than Zork, maybe? I, it's so hard to, like... Evaluate. Because, like, Zork still has Mirror, right? And Mirror's pretty good. Obviously. Oh, my Aether is still not capped. Oops. Forgot. Seventy-four. I need the Devil's Crossing Augments to give me like twelve percent Aether and counts, and we'll like get four more Aether, so like seventy-eight. And Chaos Rose will be capped then, which means then I can use the front uh, Augments for. Um, actually I can just like use 3 then, right, because I can also use the poison augments for my armor then, actually. So it should be fine. I think if I go back, I should be respect. I mean, revered then with those crossing. All right, there's the emerald. It's got the crossing. Imagine clicking on quests the right way. By the way guys, do you have any other ideas for the league that you would like to see? Like in general or... I mean, it's kind of like almost too late to... Well, accept like any requests, of course, but maybe there's still some that we can make happen. Well, the world damned now that did I talk to the sky already? Yes, I did. It's okay. uh, revered? Yes, revered. That's why I'm here. So we need um, some of these, right? And then, of course. Three of these. So like you put one, <clears throat> two, and three, right? And then you put like one here. Sounds good. Come, friend. Right. It's stripped on every time you die. You have to remove a piece of clothing. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Let's go for for what now? Twin Falls. XP pots. XP pots should be still running, right? Yeah, there it is. Oh you mean for the league? Like XP pots at start? Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know what the uh, current overall stance is on that actually. Did we have XP pots in season two? I think we did, right? But like, no locker set. XP pots in season 2. Level 100 merit. Right, so just, you're just like instantly level 100. I mean, generally, there are, like, there will be enough incentives for you to do actual content while leveling, because there's going to be, like, a lot of challenges to do while leveling. I can see maybe a level 100 merit, like, basically the GD stash merit, right? I don't know. Like after you defeat like all the bosses or something, like all the super bosses. Uh... Not having XP pots just adds a few more hours of farming cash to buy XP pots, and they're getting rid of my mouth resistance sooner. Uh... Sooner rather than later. I mean, yeah. You would have to do that like once in the first coach, right? Um, after that, you won't have to do it anymore. So. I don't know. So, like, you only have to do it like once anyway. Seventy five merit to go straight up. Yeah, the thing is for example if you have like a level one hundred merit, like what's the point of even farming local set for example then right? There's no point in farming local set then. Like not really. Unless you make it like omega hard to get basically. But like if you make it omega hard to get, then um, like once you could have it, there's not really like a point of using it in the moment. I mean, unless you just want to, like, play for fun with more characters. Um, but I guess you could also already, like, do that right now with GD Stash, right? <clears throat> so, I don't know. I feel like it's rather niche to have something like that on the game. It is, I think, on... I mean, you can play it on two hand, 
It's not that great on two-hand though. I mean, it's better on next patch, I think. Because of the animation um, speed up on next patch. Like on the beta test, touch. And it's also okay on one-handed. Um, for two-handed, I mean, it depends also, like, how many plus skills you have to the skill, what other weapon pool skills you're using, but... Like, it can also still be good for dual build. I mean, the Zolhan's technique is certainly, like, better for dual build now than good, it was. And also, like, better than Mokdual, I mean, better than Makovians. for dual build now. special from Apple Student Cake. <laughs> yeah, Lucas, thank you so much for the Prime. Thank you so much for the 10 months. Welcome back, welcome back. The Jeff Bezos special. Thank you so much, man. If I slap my desk, it's gonna just, I don't know, everything's gonna fall down. So I'm not gonna do it. I'm not the desk slapper anyway. Also, I don't wanna, like, copy my current, like, that's... Like, being a copycat is kinda cringe, I don't know. At least when it comes to, like, signature moves like that, you know. Wait, did we miss kidding like a boss here, or why does it still show a star? Why did it show a star still? Like, what am I missing here? I mean, these bosses are deeper down, right? Still trying to put together a Blood Knight DK? Still have never played one? Play uh, Rich Frost instead. I mean, if you want to play two hand at least. I mean, DK is also not bad. Like, Blood Knight is a really strong set, that's for sure. Like, you can't go wrong with Blood Knight. Putting everything. That should be fun, I guess. RR isn't everything, yep. Honest oh, true. How how do you play your blood knight, Lucas Sword and Board? Do wield. What about the ability to cast a penalty onto other players' federation? Like player B can't equip boots for one hour. That's more like I mean, like a streamer thing, you mean? Like a streamer wheel of death, mod player thing. I mean, things like that we could like set up under like. Like, there's no way you can do something like that uh, for everybody, because, like, from the client side, like, stuff like that wouldn't... It either just wouldn't work, or it would be, like, way too much work to implement something like that, I think. Right now, at least at the stage of the development. Um, but it's something that we could, like, do as streamers, maybe? For the first one or two days. To end with the Reaping Arc spam. Oh, okay, interesting. I mean, yeah, it's probably tankier than Rich Lost. Stone. Ripping or Arc is already nerfed, I think. Is 
it not? Wasn't Reaping Arc nerfed in 119.1 already? Not sure there. Okay, another XP pot, right? We're gonna use Reaping Harbert. Reaping uh, streamers that are already gonna use uh, are already going for Moss Redraft. Okay, okay. I mean, yeah, yeah. Like, we're already kind of doing something that like will fuck everybody over. Um, like us streamers at least, a little bit. I mean, not really like as badly as something like don't equip boots for like 10 minutes. But... I mean, whatever, thing, like don't equip boots for 10 minutes is fine, I guess. But, like for endgame, it's kind of monka. How do I want to have seven energy pots? What? Like what happened to him? Oh shit. Armor. No, no, I need the prime bond like ASAP. I have, yeah, it's like another five levels here, and then I can only start getting prime bond. I think I need it earlier than that, honestly. I need it way earlier than that. I might, uh, I mean, I can take some points from. Half the while, I think, like nine points out of there. Well, no, actually, not nine, it's like six or seven points that I can pull there. So I just need, like, uh, say, like three more levels, and maybe like level 84, right? Yo, DMT, welcome on, welcome on. How are you doing? Run around in circles, yep. Just low resistance matter for full pet build. 
You mean slow rest on the pets? For yourself. I would say for yourself it doesn't really matter that much. For the pets, I don't know. I'm not really like a pet expert to be honest, I don't play that many pet builds. Like, barely none. Well, if it I haven't it I came up Yo STX three welcome in, welcome in. Welcome welcome. <clears throat> So what did I say, like another three levels, right? And then we go for Prime Bond. We respect some points from the... Um, Heart of the Wild. The Prime Bond instead. To get percent of the Down to three pots, dude. What? Okay, at least back to five. Next shot's like put on here. Ding. Ding ding ding. Um, let's go for Prime Bond. Oh, also, we have to click on the corpse, right? There we go. Yeah, these kind of castle builds that don't have... I feel like Motor Trap, I mean, it's not a super duper well scaling ability without gear. So, yeah, this is like noticeably slower than, say, for example, Alchemist Blade Master or like dual build characters in general, right? Or also, um. <clears throat> what are they called? Like. Prime Strike. Actually, Prime Strike is also like a little bit slower in Ultimate than like uh, my Alchemist Cold Blade Master was, right? It's actually noticeably slower with Prime Strike. 
And also, yeah, like not playing Shadow Strike or like moving ability like that. That just like skips all the content basically as uh Oh, it is noticeable. Like, also, also, it is noticeable that you don't play that. Like, I don't play that right now. Like, the movement is rather slow across the map overall compared to, like, Shadow Strike outfits. Guardian summon bell at this point. Um, you mean the dervish back then? I didn't actually like level with guardians. The dervish. The dervish was initially like an acid dual wield melee character, which I used for racing actually. Right? So um, I got like completely changed my game actually. So I didn't level with that at all. Like, I don't know. But I mean, you could level with that as well, right? There's about Follum's Gavel, for example. But you can also, like, easily get while leveling. So playing, like, a Paladin version instead. I mean, Guardians should be pretty quick as well. The problem is still, like, pet AI, right? It's, like, on average, making things slower than if you were, like, actually attacking things yourself. I feel like it's safer, but slower. I mean, same thing for like actual pet blows, right? They're also like safer but slower, at least for leveling. Do you have me in the background while doing an assignment? I hope it's an assignment that doesn't require your undivided attention. Yeah, thanks for working. Shalatoa, welcome, welcome. How does slow resistance work for the hero? Well, if you get slowed and you have slow resistance, you will get slowed for a shorter duration. And also, I think the slow amount is slower. I mean, lower. Isn't like slow rest for duration and. Effectiveness or something like that. It's actually really strong for like attackers. Like if you're using like high attack speed, high casting speed, it's really really strong because I mean slow also reduces your attack and casting speed, right? It's not only like your movement speed. I mean the only thing that I know, um, Farnsworth, is that people have told me that Guardians are really good for leveling. I mean, not quite as good as a virus map, maybe, but still very nice, very good. Um, I mean, I can imagine them like very, being very, very quick with the two scepters, or like... Um, should also be strong with Bartholom's Gavel, right? I feel like you kind of need to put them to 24 points though, right? If you can't get them to 24 points while leveling, then you only have 2, right? And they kind of suck, right? You need to have 3, I think, otherwise it's just not that good. I don't know, maybe like people saying they're good, like, don't actually speed level though. I don't know. Maybe they say they're good for leveling because they could just like run around in circles while they like... While the Guardians, uh... Kill the enemies, I don't know. I would kind of say the same thing about motor trap actually, like you can do motor trap leveling, right? Like I'm doing it right now. I mean it's fine, right? It's not that slow, but it's also like still slower than cancel bomb, right? Like cancel bomb would be like way bigger than this. I think. Because still like mortars you have to like put down and then until like they start shooting, you already like lose one or two seconds and then 
they also have to like hit on top and they don't always hit so it's like yeah there are certainly like better abilities she instantly blocked blanche shield you'd fuck me what is this i'm so dead here if you don't coin Why is your build coming out scuffed? Wait, your death knight? What are the, what's the what's the scuffed part about it? Optional. Uh, did you put all the components on already? Like components and elements? Dude, the chance to slow on these motors is kind of weird as well. Like, I'm not sure if it's... It's really strong against trash, for sure. You really need a way now. Yeah, a way is like more important than the way now. Anyway. I agree it is. Because like, generally you always wanna be able to at least crit somehow. Time to cunning dump? What? No way, not on vitality. It's gotta be another way. You need a doctor? Monka. Do you have Dying God? Do you have Rotosian Dying God? Like Rotosian, I mean Dying God is away in the air, right? No Dying God? Yeah, then that's, that's why it's good. Kind of why it's got, honestly. Batosh, Krak, and Revenant. You should have that and Dying God, I think, easily. There's a way. Uh, for the six Yettles, you go Panther. Like, you go Panther. Um, what's it called? Panther, Lotus, and like another one with like two yellow in it. What is it always like? Panther, Lotus, and what? Like Panther, Lotus, and Watcher, for example, in it. Panther, Lotus, Sword, and Watcher. That's your six yellow. Uh, also, Kraken, right? I mean, you might have to drop Watcher and get like Stag instead. You can't fit what? Like, if you can't fit Kraken on top of it. Right. 
Like, yeah, you go, you go Panther, Panther, Lotus, Spider, Spider, Lotus, and one green for ten. Oh, you have bat anyway, right? Wait, do you play bat or do you not play bat? If you don't play bat, you play Spider, Green Crossroads, and Lotus for greens, and Lotus Watcher and Panther for yellows, right? Yes, bat. Okay, if you play bat instead, then you play. Um, either Hawk and Green Crossroads or Candle for the remaining re greens, right? Uh, you might have to play Candle uh, on it because Croc needs one more Devotion Point than Viper does, right? And then for the red you play, well, Kraken. Um, Wendigo is another two, right? So that's four red. And then you play Jackal and Red Crossroads. Or actually no, it's Jackal and Revenant, right? You don't play Ghoul because you're playing Vitality anyway, right? And you are um, a soldier, so you have as well. So you play Jackal, Jackal, Croc, and Revenant, and uh, Wendigo, right? Four reds. Yo, we didn't manage to work on work one. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Uh, I don't and like. I say not. Short on time when it comes to leveling this elemental last today, so we have to like hurry about this, but other than that, I'm doing fine. Uh, yeah, I got some some items, I mean, some new items for the league earlier today. And other than that, also did some theory crafting for the sculpture for endgame. What else? Look at people's bills and grim tools, as always. So you actually missed the grim tools part already, actually. Because I won't have time for more grim tooling today, I think. Unless it's maybe like a quick look at Ground Zero's build real quick, but just a quick one. He lurked during grim tools, nice, nice. Back to fun gaming, you're still going hard on PoE. I mean, I assume so. Wait, did you? You're running PoE with like a cloud PC, right? With Nvidia something something, or what? What are you doing right now? Yeah, you're at Nvidia GeForce. Was that exactly like basically cloud GPU? Is it just like cloud GPU? How does it work? Most fun you had in years. Oh, that's that's good to hear. That's good to hear, though. Hopefully, you're gonna have just as much fun playing the Grim Dawn season. But I mean, if you're like this was your most fun experience, it's like ages then. I guess I'm also like happy if you have like at least half of that fun playing the Grim Dawn season as well. Yo, Cham Ducks, welcome on. Having a very difficult time choosing what to play, what's a world that wrecks the leveling process and the end game without too much gear. A the caster, pet pearls or what? Um you can basically check out all of those, or any of those, and like the Grim Dawn Mastery Leveling Guides, or the uh, Solar Seifan Beginner Starter Order Builds. And yeah, just choose whatever you think looks cool and you should have a good time. And also in the end, like remember, it also like comes down to player uh, piloting skills. In every single game, right? Like, maybe you suck at playing build A, but you're good at playing build B, you know? Like, whatever is your favorite, or like, whatever place that you enjoy more, um, you're gonna, like, be better at playing, I guess, as well. So, I mean, Grim Dawn, like, honestly, if there are, there are, like, beginner builds for 
almost all classes that are good and yeah that won't be like scuffed if you know what you're doing or if you like know what guide to follow right so yeah like just i mean sure there are some that are better some that are worse but you can find one for almost all classes at least one for almost all classes So just go for like what you think looks cool and like what you would think like what you think you would enjoy playing. If you're a gold gamer, you play an art player? Yeah, pretty much. Like night play does uh I mean you can play beginner night play of course, but it's rather punishing, so... Maybe don't play it as your first character in Hardcore. I mean, you can if you want to, of course. What spec destroys the leveling process in Endgame? From what I be gathered, it is Vitality Caster or Pets, or is it something else? Yo, thanks so much for the 10 bucks. Uh, I mean... You don't have to do that, but, but thank you so much anyway. Like very much appreciate it. Um, but yeah, uh, what else say? Like um, in the end, choose any of those beginner guides on the forum or like from my YouTube, right? And all of those should be like destroying leveling content. I mean, I, I would say pets are actually. I mean. Yeah, pets are also good. It depends on like which pets exactly you wanna play though. Like some of the pets, like skeletons for example, they are very good early game, but they fall off like very very hard very quickly actually. So something like Briarthorn from the Shaman Tree for example is more consistent throughout the difficulties and all the way to end game as well. I mean I've recently played a Promise Strike Druid, for example, as well. It's also very nice, really fun to play. Like, very good kill, kill time, even with, like, default gear, basically. Like, or, like, not default gear, but, like, very, very easy to get gear, rather. And... Yeah. I mean, what else? What else? What else? These are Any Force Wave Soldier, like, in the Hot Level of Soldier video, right? Force Wave is always good as well. Blade Arc Death Knight, really good as well. Um, like the Vitality Castles, of course, are very well. I mean, very good as well. Because they have, like, pretty good leech. Um, but they're a little bit slow, honestly. Like, because you have to, like, stand still most of the time. I mean, it doesn't really, doesn't really like, apply to every single build. Uh, in the end, like, a lot of things depend, right? Like, I hate to say depends, but it kind of depends. If you're bad at games, you play pet builds. You can also play Canister Bomb Sorcerer very well. Uh, Totem Druid is pretty good as well. What else did I play? I play like the Spell... Uh, no, spell Breaker, right? The Soul Seth on Beginner Spell Breaker. But that's like do we would not play it, so it's... I wouldn't say it's that easy to play, honestly. What am I looking for here? What am I doing? I need to respect, right? Hello. Respect. What some points down here. Get the prime bond up, right? Now we have some percent absorption. Yeah, mirror and uh, notification are hard to use. They they are they are really hard to use honestly. You can also play Infiltrator instead of Spellbreaker, I guess, and you're playing Inquisitor, and Inquisitor is like a bit easier to play at least. I, I wouldn't say it's better or worse, it's about the same. Um, but it has like a lower like a lower skill floor, like it's way easier to play an Infiltrator than a Spellbreaker, because you just have to stand inside a seal, right, and that's all you need to do, really. Like, make sure that there's always a seal below your feet. I'll skip the, the legion is split. Other than that, it's like just uh, just face tank, right? Where do you get celestial essence from? Um, that only drops from a certain 
red box, which has like a bazillion spawn locations and only spawns once per. Well, once per. Uh, what's it called? It was the session actually. Your guides on YouTube have been very helpful. Thank you so much for watching, Gemdux, and again, thank you so much for your support. Very much appreciated. Uh, by, by the way, uh, maybe I'm saying this too late, right? Um, there is a season that um, mostly Sidra Stan, Mr. Monday, Ground Zero, actually a couple of people, and myself included, also uh, work on right now. Um, of course, Mike Vick, the organizer as well. And uh, I mean, Grim Dawn is an offline game, right? So it doesn't really have seasons. So we thought, I mean, it's cool to have seasons, right? In ARPGs. Season 1 and 2 were already done, like uh, earlier this year and last year. But for Season 3, we're like really upgrading lots of stuff, right? Like we have an entire client who have like automatic um, point, uh, how do you say that? Like tracking, stuff like that on a website. So that's that's really cool. And the donation thing in the bottom right. That is, uh, uh, if you want to donate there, it's it's mostly via that link. Like all the money that's getting donated there is going to go directly to developers. Um, myself excluded, probably, because I mean I'm already getting like support through streaming and. Uh, well, you guys donating me directly as well, and so on, so... Yeah, all the, like, the money raised through that link in the season slash, or like, exclamation mark season or exclamation mark league is gonna go directly to the developers who are primarily not streaming, so, like, the guy who is making the mod, like, Sirius Dan, and... Well, the guy, uh, like, Mr. Monday working on the client. And so on. Just so you know, right? just so you know. Like, I mean, if you don't care about seasons, if you don't care what we're doing, then that's that's fine too, right? Like, if you just enjoy the game as it is, that's also fine. The money donated will be spent on furry porn. I mean, maybe Mike's share is gonna be spent on that, right? On furry porn. Yeah. Oh, shit, dude. Oh yeah, also, yeah, 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 for the Celestial Lotus, for the, yeah, but uh, what Illuminator is basically said, right, there's a, like, the red chest, and you can check the spawn locations in GrimTools.com. Did you manage to fix your devotions, uh, Ground Zero? Did you manage to get uh, Wendigo, Ratosh, Bat, Kraken, Dying God? Not to unscuff your Russ, and. Yeah. And yo, Stan, welcome back, welcome back. 
doing good. Uh, we did the um, lots of grim tooling earlier, which is why I'm running a little late here on my level 94. That's fine. I think we will still manage until the end of the stream to get there. And uh, oh yeah, also people have donated for the season as well today, like quite a bit as you can see. It's crazy. So yeah, you're getting paid. You are actually getting paid, it seems like. It's king shaming, I've frowned upon fur furry porn. I guess I also did that. Yo, Mr. Roboto, welcome in. How are you doing? I mean, for those of you who want to see the season first and donate then, right? Uh, that's also totally understandable, right? Like, like, donating now for the season is kind of like pre ordering something, right? And that's. Generally, is something I wouldn't even advise people to do. Right? Like, imagine pre-ordering anything. Um, the donation will, like, the donation goal will still be open during the league, of course. So. If you'd rather want to see the content first, then um, just wait for the, the actual league to hit like, next month. <laughs> early access, yeah, it's basically like, <laughs> yeah. it's early access, but you can't even play right now. It's it's literally pre-ordering. Right? It's not even early access; it's just pre-order. Like pre and pre investment. Like maybe you like the idea and then you're donating and then the actual leak comes out and it's like, oh I don't like the changes that people have made or like I don't like this or that. I, don't know. I mean we're not really changing from Donut much, we're just adding some stuff. Uh, and mostly like doing the point ward system and like adding points uh, like basically making some some parts of the game that feel a little bit like unmeaningful to play right now, um, we will make like we will try those parts of the game to feel more meaningful again. I would say that's kind of how you could summarize like some of the maybe like minor changes that we are actually doing. Refund the donation. Season pass? Yeah. Season pass, basically. Pre ordering of season pass. Also, um, the the donation thingy there, right? It's why am I going like this? Like the this it's also partially um, for the prize pool, right? I think the, I mean Mike set this up. Mike, the organizer of this link, set this up, and uh, like he put a shared pool for paying devs and the prizes. If you just want to support the devs themselves, I think they have like. Um, at least some of them have like a PayPal link as well on the grimleague.com website, which is for some reason not in that link yet. Scuffed. I need to add that actually later.
Mage, Storm of the Aether. It's not even that bad of a roll, right? If you were actually playing an Aether Raper right now. Not even that bad. I mean, it's not a Sandstorm prefix, so not ideal. But still not that bad. They're also nerfing the like Sandstorm and so on prefixes right a little bit in the next patch as well. I mean, it does make sense a bit because Just the first. There are two basically right now, like an offhand, I have come to it's pretty much trash if it doesn't have Fizzler's prefix, right? Legion Insignia quest. Imagine the mortar actually like hitting the enemy. And that's the one big problem that mortar still has, not like. Some fizzlers to all prefixes. Huh. I mean, at that point, you might as well just like give fizzlers to the offhand itself, right? I don't know about that. Could also just nerf like the Fizzlers on shields instead, right? Alongside the Fizzlers on bounds. Already too rare. Hmm. Like the same low value that the current ones have, like this like destroyer and so on. Maybe. 2% or something like that, I don't know. What, does, what do they have, like, post-nerf now, actually? They had, like, I think 7 or 8% before the nerf, and now it's maybe, like, 5, 6? I don't know. So, 2 out of 5 of those. Found the farmers over here. Also another totem, which we will always click on. Always click the totem. And then where's Bolvar? Where is Bolvar? Is he in here? Here he is. Okay. Kind of bad, like rocking the blast you before the totem. That's really bad, honestly. Might wanna take like another couple of seconds here until it's back up. There we go. Four or five of those. We need one more. There is one more down here. All right, we're done here. Right? We have killed Bolvar, 
Bond of Armors, got the five insignias. That is all we need to do here. Let's go and find the exit to Optus Grove. Sandstorm is six to eight. Oh, they have five to seven now. Wait, were they like nine percent earlier? They weren't like nine earlier, were they? Were they? I don't know. Oh, you you mean five to seven, like right now before the nerf? Right? Um. Now nah, it's probably like more around four to six or something like that now then. Like uh in the next punch. Okay, 15% absorption, let's get some more HP again. Two totems here. Oh, that's something I don't want to skip. That's crazy. Alright, one totem here. Click on those, right? Seems good. I mean, okay. Mortal traps are really good for totems, though, right? Or like in general for like safe leveling, they are pretty darn good, right? Like it's kind of like storm totems. Storm totems are also like really good for like a safe concept playstyle. Like really, really good, right? Not gonna. It's gonna spawn Rodex, right? Not even a uh, one only. Should I just use the build by Dutchie? Did he make a two-handed death knight actually? Like reaping our death knight? Four percent fizzles to all rare prefixes and everybody is happy. Yeah, maybe. I should blow up the non-mythical legendaries here real quick, right? As always. To uh, well, get some more inventory space back. Like these, right? And these. I think like all of these basically, right? I can probably like blow up every single one that I have right now. Because like, it won't really matter right anyway. Maybe we wanna save this one though, like for leveling. Like the rings could be saved, maybe, right? I don't know. Maybe. Mythical, mythical, mythical. But this one isn't. 75. Be gone. And this one is 58. Okay. Alright, got some more. Bag space now. Oh. 
by the way, about the new PoE League, right? You have this, this crucible thing inside your body, and you can press V to basically go into another dimension or something like that, and then kill other mobs there, right? It's actually pretty funny if you're like a streamer, like for example Quinn, and you set it up so that chat can press that button for you and you're playing hardcore. <laughs> that was actually pretty, pretty funny to watch sometimes. Like if chat controls whether, like when you go into that dimension basically, and like everything gets way scarier. It's pretty funny actually. Like, the mechanic is pretty cool for streamers, I'm not gonna lie. Zarya Monarch. Alright, five more levels, five more levels. How's the timer? The timer says four hours, 43 minutes. Can we make sub five? We can't make sub five, can we? But it's more or less gonna be still around about five hours, right? That's actually sick. For elementalos, right? Like for motor traps as well. I mean, I guess motor traps aren't that bad for leveling, right? They're actually not that bad. Good. How's it built so far? I mean, so far it's just. Putting down mortars and a cocktail and running around in circles, or pressing your configuration relic ability, right? And that's it. Which is pretty chill gameplay, I would say. So it kind of reminds me of a Storm Totem Druid, honestly. Like it's very similar to a Storm Totem Druid in a way. It's just the uh, mortars are. Right, if I would have to like compare them directly to totems, I would say they are worse than totems. They have like a cooler animation, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, it's pretty similar to like a totem build. Or like a trap. Like a QE trap build, maybe. Alright, what's happening here? Why is he not playing? I'm pretty sure Wednesday is like round zero stream day, right? Do 
you never know with the ground zero. It's being late or just not streaming or something. Oh, uh, you're gonna play satisfactory or, or wasn't that like an update yesterday? Inconsistent as fuck. I mean, that's fine. At least you have a job. You really want to finish the MQC build? Oh, nice, nice. The Mad Queen's Claw Answer Blade Master. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting for endgame, really. I'm kinda curious. Your first Kalagado down. Dang, dude. Congrats, congrats. It's amazing. Alright, let's go back to... Oh shit, we haven't done this part yet when Fort Heron is missing. Yeah, I missed Fort Heron. To you it was by far the hardest fight. Yeah, Kara is uh, definitely harder than Ravager or Mokujogun or Lokar or Bourbon Clones. Have you done all? Have you done Crate? Do you even know? Do you even know Crate? I don't know. The hardest fight. I think Crate can be harder than Color. Crate is like a harder fight role than Color, like it's more punishing. Color is the longer fight though. With Crate, it's either you just die or you kill it quicker. You haven't fought the Crate, so okay. Yeah, the Crate is, I think, overall, I would say the hardest fight. But uh, Color is. On average, like the longest fight. We got a bunch of us on slugs and decided to take it easy. <laughs> yeah, the maggots are interesting. For sure. I mean, there's one maggot in there that's special, and you only have to kill that one maggot. You don't have to kill the other maggots. Technically. Been there, done that. I don't even get these. I'm level 90. Like, what am I doing? Lower XP is not gonna get me to level 91, right? Not at this stage of the game. Back to Homestead. That should give me like at least level 91 and a half, I guess. I guess, I hope. Let's see. I am told I think when the Legion was forced less. I've already You're here. We have much to discuss. Alright. Let's go here. This quest is well done. Oh, actually, like more than 
almost like 93. Yes. Okay, let's, I mean almost 92. So we need uh, two and a half levels. Yeah, which means we're gonna run to Fort Icon. Can you put a water down here? You can. <laughs> like, what is this, dude? <laughs> You're standing on top of just like super tall bridge and you can put down motors down there. Like, what is this, dude? What is this game? What is this scale rather? What the fuck? Like, if, yeah, if you're like elevated and you're like targeting an enemy, the uh, spawn range is really weird. Like, really, really weird. Why did I not do the skip by the way? Like, what am I doing? Why did I not, not skip this, like, super interactive region of the game? I shouldn't even bother like taking this shrine because honestly it needs an amber red. Right? And an amber is worth three aether crystals. Like I need to actually get my aether crystals together for this character anyway, so I'm just gonna skip it for now. Like three aether crystals are literally more worth than whatever I can get from that uh, shrine right. Through endgame struggles. Yo, gentle automaton, welcome on, welcome on. Alright, two more levels, guys. Two more levels.
Leave a portal here. Because maybe we want to go down the hit there as well. And then... Because we have the quest, right? We have the quest to slay the Necromancer Guardian of the Ashes. Sit in burn the little house nose. Are they playing football right now? I, I have no idea about football, I don't really watch it. I mean I know I mean I've played it as a kid of course, but more like as a teenager, but other than that. I don't really watch it. BMG 4-0 versus Bayern. Oh they're getting destroyed. Well, who is BMG even? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know who BMG is. Dude. Oh, mentioning Gladbach. What? They're, lo they're losing to Borussia? What the fuck? I thought like BMG stands for like Bad Manners Gaming or something like that, you know. Like, it was like an esports team, like BMG Bad Manners Gaming. The only thing that like kind of triggers me sometimes with this spell is like you have to stand still to cast the motor trap, right? I don't want to stand still. I mean, you have to like stand still for any attack, I guess. Just do this trick here to save some time. Because the mobs here don't really give any XP anyway, right? It's like whatever. Whatever. I mean, you of course want to like put on a motor to like kill someone like rank through this, but other than that. It's like whatever, right? As long as they don't kill you, it's fine. How am I down to two energy pots still? Level 92, what the hell? Oh my god, did Malkadar with the instant blast shield proc? Are you kidding me? Dude, this guy's like scary sometimes. I don't know. Okay, let's kill Lucius. The 80 ground cosplay build killed crate. I'm surprised it killed Crate before killing itself to like spawning a bazillion of boxes, right? Good. Or before Precisely. killing your laptop because of all the lag that it's gonna create. But yeah, congrats, congrats. But I need to fire the manager, can't be losing the pot uh, to the bottom of table teams like that. Um, They're not gonna fire their manager, are they? They're gonna fire their coach, if anything. Like, always blame the coach when it's not the manager. Only took 5 attempts. Minus 5 for W. It's a minus 5 right there. Which build you will know soon. Yeah, that's a pretty interesting build.
But I mean, it's Dawn of Monsteries. Of course, it's pretty crazy. It's Dawn of Modding. What the fuck? Okay. Blast shield up. What kind of a compilation is this? I mean, compilation is this? Not? Ground of pain, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's funny because like it fits, it fits your name and it fits the bill. Like it's literally that, right? It's ground of pain. Delicious. Let's go. Let's go for delicious. Delicious cross trip give me like level 94. I mean 93. At least, right? Kind of still missing some XP, right? 4 hours 52 minutes. Monarch. Eight minutes, eight minutes, guys. Can we make five hours? So we're gonna get some XP over here, right? Or here in Saurus Bastion. Three, there we go. Oh, maybe also get those quest right? Then we can go and kill an Asteria real quick, right? Or like can hand in that quest and kill an Asteria. Seven minutes, Monk. Yeah, yeah, the FG quest is also really nice, and the Prey Century is also pretty nice. doable. I think we should manage like the five hours if I don't die to this area here. Outcast hood. Wait, this one already can drop it. What? It's only the blue one, but still. Leave with the cultists. Uh, let's talk to Barnabas real quick and then also do Forgotten Gods real quick, right? 4 hours 55 minutes. I don't know. Okay, we got some XP there, right? Let's go over here. Forgotten God quest should be easy as well. And then the game crashed! You know what's funny? I'm still walking on your screen, right? Even though the game already crashed. What is this? What? Uh, like the game crashed on my screen? And... 
Like, what the hell is this dude? Never seen that. Wow, okay, where's that a mute lost? Oh my god, do I need ah, my XP pot, right? Fuck me. What is this? A new patch? Dude, what is this? My XP pot, I need like half a level, not even. I'm not gonna do an XP pot for this, like, fuck that. I lost my XP too? What? How did my XP get re-rolled? I mean, like, rolled back. Oh my god. I mean, my timer also got rolled back, like a minute apparently. Wait, it tells me to kill Alasteria, what? How did it roll back that far? Wow. Okay, let's kill Alasteria again then, I guess. That's interesting. Well, now I'm actually, like, using a pot there. What is this? Like, the game's holding me hostage. What is this? And the series already... She's already a hostile. But it didn't save me killing her. So apparently the last save was like when I went hostile with her. But not when after, like, when, not after I killed her. Well, I mean... Did it save my blue hood? No, it didn't save the hood either. Well, okay. Is my character still alive? I mean, yeah, at least it's not PoE, right? Where your like, character dies. I mean, it would have been like just in town, so I wouldn't have died if it was PoE either, right? It would have been fine. So, Barnabas quest now as well, right? Again? Okay. Time to throw mortars? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Revered with Homestyle? Okay, cool. No, it's not Crash Forgotten God's place. So you go. That's so scuffed, dude. Like the timer also getting re-rolled. Like what is? I mean, I guess it's warned. fair. Why are they hitting each other so like this? I could hear Ah oh. oh, yes. There's still XP missing. Oh yes. Can I just choose like a faction? Like I don't know, these guys for example. You hmm. Okay. 94. Pretty much exactly 94. That was very close. Okay. Uh so level 1, 2, 94 in 4 hours and 57 minutes. Come see what's left of Definitely quicker than expected, honestly. Certainly a lot quicker than expected for an elemental as well. Right? I mean, it's 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 just like demolition is carrying with mortar traps, right? Or like with whatever. Right? Demo is always quick. Demo cancer bomb. Demo um, mortar trap. Demo black with the cocktail, right? All really really quick. Like demo is such a strong class. It's crazy. And the shaman. I mean, shaman still has RR, right? So it it, it does something, and it has absorption. So like, didn't make me die. So. And then resistance is actually on oak skin into armor. So like it's not it's not even that bad, right? It's fine, it's totally fine. Anyway, thank you so much everybody for watching on YouTube as well. I'll see you around on the next episode of whatever you were gonna watch. Uh, thanks for watching guys.